being a minor mission to being a prestige mission just because of like what's ha what happens in it or is it like not a jump that much uh I, I theoretically that could happen like let's say for example lucius was after a like blight related mcguffin that would basically double his blight power if you guys were say you've tried to stop him and failed to stop him to get that he could then turn into like a prestige boss based on that this is like a potential like thing Okay. And you ain't die. I can't exactly disclose the factors of what turned this into a major mission, but mm -hmm. smile. <laughs> I have suspicions on what yeah. did it. some of your suspicions uh, would be correct. Others you would not know. Oh my damn gold. That stupid priest probably took it all. Smile. Uh, da, da, where's my music? See, I'm just kind of worried, like, there were five of them in the town. Where did the other three go? Huh? Like, the, the guards described there being five people that they were suspicious of in Shuttance, right? Mm hmm Before the incident? Yep. If we know the priest was the guy we met at the third shrine, and we know Lucius was the elf, where are the other three? Hmm, good question, good question. It's like, Man, let's drop that are we going to have to deal with chat. them? Or they're just like, uh-oh. There you go, there's music and it's time. If we have start. to deal with them. That just means that I have more targets for hold person. Mm -hmm. right. I want to run a little bit of a recap of last session. Uh, I can't that remember might be... what happened. I would, but... I'll do it! Use a good save for later. Smile. Mm -hmm. um, if I remember last session, it started off, we let the priest know that we were moving on. Uh, there's definitely nothing suspicious of him. Nothing at all. Mm -hmm. So we go on our way, go through the snowy snowy mountains, and we get jumped by harpies, and it was the hardest fight of our lives. Uh, <laughs> after we killed all of them, we arrive at an outpost in front of Shuddance. We find out that the, that the town got attacked, or was suffering from a blight outbreak that they were dealing with. They got hit by that blight terrorist attack, and we try to explain, like, hey, we got some information on this dude, and immediately they're like, mm, you guys are terrorists also. So we have to explain, like, no, this guy tried to kill us, and we are also hunting for him, before they very, very warily let us through to talk to the Inquisitor about what we found. And now we're like, yeah, we have an idea of where he's going to be. We're going to go kill him. And now we're on our way to go kill him. Yeah, also, we're taking the, a shortcut. We yeah, are taking also a shortcut. Also, the Inquisitor was like, you guys were supposed to not say you were working for us. Oh, yeah, but they forgot to say that we weren't supposed to say we're working for them. Mm -hmm. So whose fault was I, that, really? I don't recall yeah. if we ever told the priest if we were working for the Inquisition at all. I don't recall. I, I don't to remember either. I don't hmm. think... I don't think we that's, did. We just told him we were looking problem. for a guy. We mentioned that. That's the problem with having such a long point. mission. We forget the parameters, so... Mm -hmm. Our characters wouldn't forget it, probably, but us, Our characters yeah. wouldn't, yeah. I mean... I, I don't remember. I don't know about <clears> our characters remembering it. <laughs> I mean, it's only four days, but we probably would, but for us, it's been man. like two, three months. <laughs> uh, unless I'm told otherwise, I'll say that my character remembers it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you. On one hand, yeah, <laughs> probably not. On the other hand, sometimes I do forget things that I've that have happened like earlier in the week. So, uh... <laughs> some with that, that intelligence check. <laughs> Good also, recap. We did have. We did have. Um, Semi revelation of like, oh god, if he gets past us at the fifth shrine, 
There's he has access to water right there. Yeah, he has access to waterways, so uh, we kind of have to kill him here. And then it's also like, oh, the waterways. Wait, what's that at the very bottom? Oh, that's the capital. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, well, basically, I... if we fail here, it would be really, really funny. Admittedly, <laughs> the water. That would be. It kind of would be, but it's also like. <laughs> Literally, like the the water doesn't run backwards. It runs or... that way. Or, yeah. Well, it runs here well, and then. Well, actually, it does run down from the mountains and then pools here. That's yeah. how the water flows. Yeah, I was gonna say it would make more it's sense like... for it to be flowing down towards <laughs> towards an outlet. Yeah, like and it's also like there are so many towns along the river that he would have access to. It's like he could go fucking anywhere. Mm -hmm. Think, Mister, say if they want us to ca kill or capture. Uh, um, I don't think we were told any any specifics. It's yeah. not going to be up to you guys. I personally, I just have the I have the feeling that the Inquisition is not capable of pinning this guy down. So maybe we should just put him down. Yeah, I believe I... you were given the job of stop him. <laughs> stop yeah. him. And we were Look, told that he's already saying... escaped once. <laughs> All I'm saying is, speak with dead is a spell. They probably could get what they want out of him. It is. Ha ha ha. From what I can tell, he's not a sorcerer. That means he likely doesn't have access to metamagics. Uh, regardless, if we want him alive, uh, well, we're gonna have to remove his hands at the least. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, we can. I, do, I don't mean. I don't mean tie them. I mean. Get yeah, I rid mean. Of them. I mean. We, we physically have to remove his hands. Do we know what kind of spellcaster he is? Like, were we told anything about that, or it's like firebolt and uh, misty step? That's what they know. We, we saw him cast magic, so it's. Yeah. We know he's, he's a, a level. Yeah. He's a level out. five something. You also or know that. He, five. You also know that he has a quite a good intelligence score, so fairly narrows mm -hmm. it down there. <laughs> Cringe ass. Oh, he's he, he's actually a uh, he, he's actually a fighter. Uh, <laughs> he's actually Eldritch yeah, Knight. Uh, Eldritch Knight. Who knows? <laughs> um, he's a. Um, Wait, isn't there? Isn't there an int warlock? He's an arcane trickster. I, um, I don't know if there is. <laughs> yeah, he's actually a rogue. Actually, yeah. It'd be weird if he didn't. Arcane tricks. I think it's archmage. Uh, warlock is actually int. So. Mm. Mm -hmm. I need to actually something. But he's probably a wizard, so probably, yeah. probably find yeah. his book and burn it, <laughs> or steal it. I mean, yeah, yes. they probably want to. Oh, the wizard probably, I guess, would be quite of would be might be worth some money if you find some spells in it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if we kill this guy, we can just loot all his stuff. I mean, yeah capture too but yeah the thing is we don't know how to keep him sleeping you know until we hand him over uh he's Maybe. an elf uh by the way i <laughs> i don't right. know if ladik i don't know if ladik is going to argue this in character but out of character i am actually in favor of just killing him and giving his body to the inquisitors so, so they can get their information out of him as a moral they, compass as a moral compass son is um chaotic good and she is totally going to kill him Okay, yes. so um, Sadika is lawful neutral. She believes it is <laughs> of the greater good to just kill this guy. By the way, above board, we need uh, to get there first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah, above board, uh, I'd be fine with killing him. Um, we don't negotiate with terrorists. Is, it's gonna be an awkward fight, though. <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> Your loyalties <laughs> lie somewhere else. I'll hold purse no. at you. No, no, no. Yeah, they better not. But it's it, it's. Oh, it would uh, be funny. <laughs> it it's gonna be funny. <laughs> I'm but... looking, I'm watching you. I'm watching you, dog. So um, I'm still wavering on what we should do. What we would be better for the Inquisition, because the guy could learn quite a lot of him from him, and I'm not sure how many people they have to cast. <laughs> I think even if they can cast speak with dead, he doesn't have to speak with them, right? He doesn't have to, but also, I mean, here's my thought: if he wasn't, if he isn't going to speak as a 
as a dead body, he wasn't going to speak alive either. See? So. Argument? Whenever someone mentions speak with dead, I am immediately reminded of the scene from the D&D movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a very good scene. <laughs> hey, I yeah. you. It's like a lot of the there's a, there's a bunch of moments in there. There's just peak D and D. It's just like, yeah, that's that that that's about how it goes. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about killing this guy on the way. Yes, we gotta hit let's, the we gotta hit the feet. Let's mm -hmm. think about it while. Fighting him, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we were we were planning on taking a shortcut, quote unquote, to the fifth shrine. So that's Yar. where we're gonna head with some dog sleds. Indeed. Yeah. You guys are pretty much uh the Inquisition contact that you spoke to earlier comes back and has a sort of carriage pulled by a oh, team of sled. If the dogs. Inquisition contact does come back, I think Sun because to be had this realization of what he might do if he gets past us. Mm. I think Sun would p probably warn if they don't hear back from the group that his next target is likely to river. Well, I hope to hear back to from you then. Uh, yeah, but if we don't, just assume that we're all dead and please, please reinforce the river or towns along the river. Mm. Yeah, we'll... We're already on it. Uh, pretty much for that shrine, we sent a contact ahead to basically clear it out, make sure there's no civilians there. Who, so you guys are free to fight without worry. That's good. Yeah. yeah. And good luck. Good hunting. Thanks. Yeah. Good idea. yeah. Fun. You guys begin to travel quickly, making great time. From a journey that would have taken probably a good day and a half, you're able to cut through snowy land and just uh, roll a d100 real quick. Avalanche. And you make it there with no issues whatsoever. Making Ooh. very good time arriving. Imagine if that was a one. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Yeah, you arrive there, you see it's already burnt down. Uh, yeah. with, with that, you arrive there, the journey was most of the day. It's kind of close to evening. The sun is still out. But you arrive at the final shrine, question mark, as I have named the map. Oh boy. How much time do we theoretically have on this dude? Uh, theoretically, you got probably a few hours. Like a trip, uh, I think. Wasn't there time to do... Yeah, it, or... Did I say it oh, would take a long rest rather. to do that? Yes. Uh, you would have been able to do it, like, on the way, since nothing happened, it was yeah, sort of down time travel. Okay, oh. uh... What well, were we thinking be... about moving the um, stone to the sun? We should probably yes. check if there's a hidden... I, was, uh, I would have given that over. Uh, okay, yeah. As soon as my token loads, I can... Well, yeah. I can just remove it from my inventory. But yeah, sun would have a um, healing ward loaded into it. Did I not... Uh, I don't think it's specific spells. Yeah, it... It's just a spell slot. Yeah, it oh, stores the spell slot. spell slot. Yeah, it oh, stores okay. the spell slot. Oh. Oh, I forgot to add my other spell. music keep playing? It's not supposed to play until you guys start fighting him. Hold on. So uh, I should be know have click to have play. Invisibility. <laughs> Did I really not add Okay. Uh, give me a second. I'm reading words. Yeah, I did not. So yeah, setting a trap inside of the building seems not that well because you can't just look through the window, you know. But if we find a possible, you know, secret entrance again to the mm -hmm. thing, we could make, make it make a trap downstairs. Mm -hmm. But yeah, also like on the 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 way, uh, like Noko would would or well.
kind of because uh, she would they, they, they would swap at some point during the travel uh, mm -hmm. before <laughs> attempting it. So mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna just uh, this. Is that the first time you've swapped during the mission? Um, I think it's the first time with you here. I believe I swapped at the end. Wait, no, no, you um, you swapped at the end of session one before. Yeah. 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 Okay. And then I swapped back mid session two. I think. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm just going to put that under the assumption of Arana didn't comment because it's weird and it's probably a can of worms that she yeah. doesn't want to get into. <laughs> it's like, yeah, fuck it, whatever. Mm -hmm. It's uh, shape-shifting stuff. What? Yeah. But yeah, uh, at some point during the uh, uh, during the travel, um, Seki would uh, would speak with Ladika about this. Right, um, Miss Ladika. Hmm. Yes. I believe I would need some assistance with dealing with this issue. My sister has gotten us. Well. Into uh, just and he's motioning to the the runes on uh, on their arm. Question: Did you? I know you swapped before, but did you ever like tell anyone that you have two souls in you? Uh, not directly. Not not specifically. Um. Although. Actually, no. I, like, I didn't say anything specifically. Uh, I just try to, I just try to make sure because Ladika probably would have noticed that you like changed appearance, but she's just probably thinking, "Oh, you like to switch it up." Mm -hmm. So, uh, what but do mean, um, what do you mean, sister? Ah, uh, right. She didn't explain it. Um, it's complicated but let's just say it's, it's hard to say I am Seki and Noko is here but also not it is we are two that are one it Two souls in the same body? She, like, adjusts her glasses. It's essentially. It's... It's complicated. I don't fully understand it myself, nor does my sister, but we've been... It was something that happened when we were young, and... Well, I've been looking into... how to figure it all out for a while now. I believe my sister is as well, but she has her own methods of getting information. And uh, he glances at the, um, glances pointedly at the runes on his arm. Right. She's quite mm, Ambitious? I would say impulsive and... Reckless. Yeah. Yes. That's a good word for it, yes. But uh, I, I... I suppose that's another story for another day. What is it that you need help with the runes for? Well, I believe I have figured out a way to at least lessen the effect of it, if not reverse it 
in a way that it benefits more than hinders, but I might need some assistance in um, the more particulars of the arcane. Basically, uh, I need someone with that's trained in arcana to help. <laughs> like, help action. Well, I'm no wizard, but I can help you. Mm. Sun can uh, get I guidance can... if it's helpful. I can see what I, I can do. Yeah, I think he will nod to Sun. I, I believe that should help as well. I've uh, done my studies, but I believe my powers are more innate, instinctual in nature. I hope you don't aren't looking for a practice wizard. That should be enough. Um, he's also going to pull going out some... To, you're not going to explode if this goes wrong, right? I don't want to be responsible for that. I don't believe so. Nothing I've found indicates it. It might catch on fire, possibly, given the nature of it, but... I don't think it'll be that violent if things go horribly wrong. Which right, uh, they son, shouldn't. could you go? Could you be on standby in case uh, Seki here explodes, or I Sa explode by proxy? Uh, son will cast guidance on Saki, and then um, also cast virtue for like the moment right before he sacks. The, like the moment before, since Spurts you last six seconds. Becky starts uh. hissing like a creeper. <laughs> <laughs> what does uh, Virtue do? <laughs> ah. So basically, right before in the moment that they do it, they all have seven temp HP. Mm. Gotcha, gotcha. And then yeah, I'll get, I'll pull out the, uh, Common fire reagents that I bought the other person. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Where'd you go? Oh, yeah. There he is. <laughs> I like look over at Xanavar. Uh, that's actually a good idea. Uh, you two, I look to Rana and kind of go, you might want to get back just in case they actually do explode. <laughs> just I mean, in case. It would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it would be funny God. to be caught in Just... the explosion, maybe <laughs> viewing it from afar. <laughs> she says that but immediately starts backing up. Yeah. <laughs> Just like. Honestly, if oh, we, we TPK'd like, TPK like that, that would be hilarious. Oh my God, Lucia, sh guys. Lucia uh, shows up, finds all your guys' bodies, and just like, yeah, oh our God, charred man. corpses. <laughs> He's just scratching his head like, uh, well, oh, right. I was going to do that, but I guess uh, yeah. problem solves itself. God, he 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 would one hundred percent use our bodies for blight bullshit, wouldn't he? I'm okay with I mean, killing yeah. myself. I make no comment at this time. <laughs> it's okay. I just mean I get to play Inquisitor. I mean, this 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 would happen. During the travel, like during the long rest, yeah. So I uh, have to click the long rest button and, as well because I'm still down four HP at two stamina. Mm. All right, let her rip. Let's see if you actually blow up. All right, so just Arcana with advantage, and then yep, D four, I guess from guidance and the D four. Right. Don't roll a one. Yeah. yeah. So, but that's what I would need to roll for this, right? Arcana. Okay. And then advantage because of help. And then... Mm -hmm. uh, do I put the 1d4 in the... the you can input roll value after. thing? Or just... You can right. roll it after, yeah. All right? Roll oh, the 1d4. Uh, come on, 4. Um, okay, that's All right. total Not bad, 15. I don't think. It's a 15. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's not a 20, but like... 15, it's that's pretty uh, all right. 75% of the way there. Roll me a 1d100 and call high or low on it. Oh. Once again, smile. <laughs> okay. Um, fuck. <laughs> I love do, I, do I double down? 
Or do I go high is good? <laughs> like if you say low is good and then roll a hundred, it's extremely funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fuck it. Uh, you know what? Hold on. Let's let's let's. Mm -hmm. Okay. So one is high, two is low. Fuck it. All right. Okay. All right. All right. That's a uh, that's a thing. That's a pretty good high. Yes, yeah. indeed. All right. Now, at this point, tell me what was your purpose with doing this? Did you want to increase the positives or decrease the negatives? I mean, there, there wasn't really any positives, <laughs> was there? It's just negative. There, there currently is not. That is correct. Okay. So they could get a positive. Uh, are you trying to make it work better for you? I think you, you get the scaling bane off better. of yourself. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, at the very least, get the bane off of it. Mm. So lessen the negatives, but also, like, kind of a bit of both. Like... Mm. Attune it more to me so that it's not hurting me as much, and also maybe get a bit of benefit out of it. Right. But probably not as much as like if I'd just gone all in on benefit. Mm. As you use the fire reagents to reshape the curse within your arm, the fire burns, causing you to take. Seven fire damage. Hmm. But thankfully like for the exactly the the oh. temp HP. But oh guys, oh guys, they're burning. They're about to blow I, I, up. I, I will also say this is fire damage. Uh, yeah. So I take three. Yeah. Because five or no, is it three or four? Half round down, so three. That's round down. Okay. Always round down. Uh. How do I put temp on? Well, that temp's going to be gone by the end. That is it, at the end of the round. It should so. be in the healing macro that's included. So unless if you're taking more... Oh, then, yeah. It, it if you're taking gone it, anyway. So. Yeah, it'll be gone You'll anyways, be good not to put it. Mm -hmm. Alright. So... Just, uh, remove the fire reagents, or the common ones. As you reshape it, the curse changes in the following ways. Your, your d20 attacks no longer have the minus one d4. You still, when casting, roll the d20 for the potential failure chance. But it is only on spells that are level two or higher. Okay. And in addition, if you make a spell... That pretty much if you pass the check to make sure that uh, you're able to cast spell, if you roll pretty much the opposite of that. So instead of like, say, rolling below a two, if you roll above an 18, you gain two additional damage die onto the spell. Oh. Gamble. And, for example, like with, say, Magic Mist, for example, that would be 2d4, not 6 additional d4. <laughs> so, hold on. So, I only, I only roll the, uh, like, I only get yeah, you the only... spell failure on second level or higher. Second level or higher, correct. But for first levels, do I still get the bonus damage die? You do no. not. Okay. You have to have the chance of failure for the boon of success. Okay. They are linked. If you were to say upcast a spell, then it would. Just in that way. And for uh, stuff that lingers, like spiritual weapon, it would only be on the first attack. Okay. You get the bonus damage die. This is still... This is not bad, but hmm. So 
So it's kind of like crit almost, but not really. Mm -hmm. hmm. Just not sure how to write that in, like how to. Yeah. Pretty, pretty much it's if you roll above 20 minus the spell level, then you get the bonus. That's pretty huge now that I think about it, actually. You had two extra dice? Two additional damage die. And I'm assuming he can do that multiple times to even out the benefits and remove uh, negatives? Pretty, pretty much, this is connected with the chance of failure. So... Pretty much, it would apply to every time you cast a spell of second level or higher. That 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 is like the 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 more powerful the spell, the more chance of damage. Yeah. Like the, the more chance of scaling uh, uh, success or failure rate. There's a mm -hmm. sweet spot in there. <laughs> Where it's gonna be fifty fifty. I this? mean, that's nine level spell slots. No, 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 no yeah, we'll spell. It's just like that's where the fifty yeah, we'll fifty is at. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Gamba. <laughs> I either oh, cast God. wish or I don't. Hmm. Or you, or you cast wish twice. Is this what? Is this where I start trying to use uh, empowered casting and stuff? Um, I mean, if you get the, if you hit the jackpot and roll an 18 on an empowered slot, you get a bunch of extra damage. But you also have to, but that's also quite a few rolls, so you have to succeed on. You have to succeed to twice. Succeed on the con yeah, you have to yeah. succeed the con save, and then you have to make sure you don't roll below the spell level. And then you have to make sure you roll above the spell level. Mm -hmm. Or spell, or 20 minus the spell level, so... You effectively do. You do have a jackpot now. Yeah. Okay. That's a that's a thing. Well, that um. Did it work? Are you, are I, you dying? Do you feel like you're dying? No. I, I safe to back away. It, back away anyway. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't hurt as much. I, hmm. It does feel different. Not as <sighs> still feels unusual though. I would imagine your arm still is singed, mm. on fire, more like. Yes, but I think it's definitely in a better, it's definitely better in some way at this point. Well, hopefully it'll help out. I hope. Should probably keep moving, though. Uh, you gonna blow up? You good? Uh, I think, I think I'm they're good. good. All right, cool. I'm gonna re return. Okay. Uh, the only second level spell I have is spiritual weapon that does damage right now. Damn. Oh, you can well, upcast uh, one of your first levels. Yeah, true. Mm. Uh, I don't know what the hell you did. I hope it went well. Uh, but we got to set up. Because this yeah. guy is going to be coming. I don't know how long. Also, we would have done long hours, rest maybe. on the yep. way, right? All of you guys should make sure you're fully long rested and prepared. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I gotta remove the spell crystal because I don't technically have that. Uh, let's see, son has got the crystal. I would assume. Yeah. Not for... mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I should. What if I? Oh. What if I su subtle cast suggestion, Billy Billy terrorist, and tell him to just stand still? Just stand still for a second. Chill out for mm -hmm. a minute. And then we cut off his hands. Hold on, I'm kind of cooking there. Stand still, you say? 
Yeah, I start mean, cutting okay. off his hands as you see a fireball grow in them and get blasted straight into your face. I cast Levitate on him. Nah, Xanavar's quick on the draw. We could definitely cut his hands off beforehand. <laughs> beforehand. <laughs> 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 uh, uh. Oh, that actually got to me. <laughs> I think, I mean, I think we could fashion something so he can't move his hands. Like a box full of dirt. Or... I really think we should just straight up cut off his hands. I th feel like that's a little bit too far down there. Uh, He's so a terrorist! He's a terrorist! The, the fun part uh, about all of this, by the way, Misty Step only has a verbal component. Yeah. Well, I want to cut off sure. his hand so he can't attack us with any Yeah, I, I, I'm also not yeah. suggesting to cut off his tongue because we need him to talk. <laughs> we need him to talk. <laughs> what level but... spell is silence? I mean, that would be, I, I guess, Second, yeah. Damn. basically just stuffing Sorcerers something. don't get silence. Do My I... thought process is this guy is a terrorist who is willing and has in the past attacked innocent people. We should show him no, no quarter. Mm -hmm. So that's not showing any mercy. Well, then I guess he's only healing, but... I see he was a, well, the type of person to attack, so but wouldn't. Well, let's ask him. How likely is it we can fashion something without cutting off his hands to stop him from using his fingers to spell cast? Like, with rope, wood, etc., what we have on hand. Yeah. We already know explicitly that he's made a fault in Chris already by escaping. With his son's whole per idea of they should just take no chances in this kill him. Because he poses yeah, a greater danger alive, really... and there's n nothing you can really learn about. I don't think we can really keep him where he is uh, without, you know. Either we cut off his hands and feet, or we kill him. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna cap. Okay, Kalak, Kalak, evil and me says both. I mean... We'll just hog time, gag him. He'll be like a pig. Yeah, seems like you guys have the answer to your own question there. <laughs> We could, but I think there's a more a more permanent solution. But oh yeah, but men, I mean, if they want, they can just bring him back to life. <laughs> uh, look, hey. So while we're here and we're talking strategy, I don't know what kind of trap we want to set up here, but I want to make a note. I can make someone invisible, uh, if we need to. So maybe someone can sit out, keep an eye out, and maybe you know, watch to see if he's coming, like, before we know he's here, and he won't get the drop on us, you know? Uh, I like can that. as well. I also have message, so I could, I could be another person that stakes out, perhaps. Yeah, me too. I got both of those things. Oh, wonderful. Uh, well, if we both have invisibility, should we be the ones that keep an eye out? Rana shrugs. Look, uh, it might make, like, might make me invisible, but it doesn't necessarily mean I'm quiet, so someone uh, who's more confident with that. Fair. Anyone think that they can be quite stealthy? Probably not me. Yes, uh, not, not the man in heavy armor. Let's, let's see what we have to work with, I'd say. Let's go inside first. Yeah. Hey, hey DC, you took, um, impact. Um, powered casting, right? Yeah, I have enchantment. Um, do you do you get get your extra spell slots? I do have extra spell slots, so it wouldn't is invisibility. Invisibility is illusion, but for enchantment spells, I have an extra spell slot. Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't mark it down because I didn't want to make new spell slots specifically for that. But oh, okay. I I um, trust that I can keep track in my head. Yeah, okay. I'm not good down because it's just fucking easier. I don't yeah. get invisible. That, that was the reason why I mentioned it because it's all cute. Had, yeah. had it marked down and you did it. And it's like, I think. just making sure. Yeah. Uh, in theory, I could remember. If it becomes a problem, I'll do something. I'll do something about it. All right. As you step into the shrine, you see that this one is significantly more well maintained than any of the others previously. All the statues are ornate, not a speck of dust is left in. This shrine Wait. appears to still be in active use, and given that you just came from a semi-decent road, it seems that this is probably one of the more popular shrines for people to travel to. Oh, uh, someone also 
probably attempt to hide the tracks of them coming in. Hmm. It's not difficult to hide them due to the fact that it's well worn and having footprints would really. This is a well traveled, well traveled shrine, right? Mm. Yeah. Or the roads are well traveled to this shrine. Yeah. Does this seem to be like similar to the first shrine where it had like the slidey bit? Uh, it does not. It appears to be just a typical altar. Okay. Perhaps I can't believe that's what made it shrine. a major mission of us yeah. stealing the loot. What was going on with that first shrine? It was so mm. strange. Uh, there's only one floor to the shrine, correct? Uh, yes, that is correct. Okay, and uh, Rona will like head outside for a bit and just take a look. How does the the roof look? Would could someone like go onto the roof and like stay there? Is it like a something someone could stand on? Yeah, so the roof is relatively flat. Get to my drawing tool. Basically, it would be sort of... Hang on, I need better color than black on surface. Basically, it goes like that, flat, and then like that. So it has like that sort of square-ish. You know, okay. Trapezoidal look. All right. Uh, for now, I think she'll give the order to Lizzie to like sit on the roof and just keep an eye out, mm -hmm. and orders him <laughs> to just say something. Should uh, or you know, give a give a message in case something were to, you know, Lizzie Lizzie starts hissing. We don't really have a way of keeping him off the roof. So where do you want to fight him? Inside the shrine or outside? It would be easier to trap him inside, maybe. Well, the sadly the windows don't make it easy to trap him. Because he can look outwards to yes. you know, cast a spell, teleport, or just break them. Could there perhaps be a way that we could board up the windows? Do we think we have time for that? I we feel like that's a bad it's idea. It would be very it obvious up in this mess. Mm, most likely notice, yeah. That's true. We might have to just trust that we can defeat him fast enough before he decides to make his escape. Maybe could wait outside, right? Like, farther away in the woods and watch from there? If he comes from the road, true. true. Road. Actually, uh, do any of you have uh, a spell that could maybe blind him? Mm. Ladika shakes her head. And just looks I, to everyone. I could mm. have a rope ready to gag him his mouth. It's my first action. Like, is it out of character? Is it a possibility to make a gag with a rope and then try to grapple him with that? Or is it more of a. Is it already a. How do you say it? A advanced grab, like a restraint kind of thing? Yeah, that would fall under a sort of call shot situation. And so, would be quite difficult to do and would be much more like unlikely to succeed as just doing a general rope. And if he's a wizard, it might be just a bad idea to disarm his pre uh, spell focus. Mm. Hmm. Well, well, if he's like me, and I don't mean as in a sorcerer, I mean as in someone who would prefer to use a component pouch over a focus, she'll like gesture to the little pack on her belt. Uh, then I don't know if necessarily disarming the focus is the best way to go. We jump him and rope him of his stuff, so he can't cast spell focus, couple and pouch. Yeah, anything like that. Uh, and we should also assume he's not coming here alone. He can summon the blight things, right? He can. He might have some. Right. 
Uh, like the, I mean, excluding the potential allies that are actual people, uh, we don't have any reason to believe that he doesn't just have like a couple blight monsters with him. You know, I mean, I I don't imagine he's a very tough guy by himself. And I mean that in the in the literal physical sense, not the you know magical capability sense. Oh, um, I think I'm going. Uh, Sonova is going to use his lore in what was it? Just a second. Hmm? His lore in ambush tactics. I tried to find a good way to ambush this guy. <laughs> All right, give me a tactics check. Yep. I I guess I would ask for assistance, depending if. Well, someone wants to help me with this, but that's about it. I ain't trained in tactics. Me neither. Uh, I don't think I Thank am. Thank you. <laughs> well, <if someone laughs> just walking around, Guidance walks away. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep, that's fine. That's awesome. Yep, let me go make a check if you guys are good. Yep. I don't see it. Not too bad. Alright, roll again alongside that. Alright, an 18. Um, there are advantages and disadvantages to both sort of things. Ambushing him inside gives you the advantage of sort of confined spaces and sort of you're able to control his movements much better. However, as it's been pointed out, there are windows. He has messy step he can misty step out of the building. It would be more difficult for you to chase him there. Playing him outside is a much more wide open space, so him running is also a possibility there, but your ability to chase him would be better. Overall, yeah, sort game. of just is how you want to try to do it. It depends on how well our movement is because the moment he misses steps outside or through a window, right? We can't follow him without having to physically break through and then follow him only. I honestly think that you, Xanavar, would have the best chance of chasing him down if he were to misty step out because you can just jump through the window. Like, there's no shot that you don't just break the window when you leap through it. Depends. Mm -hmm. And you're pretty fast, aren't you? Only, well, in combat 35, but, you know, it can also, bonus action, try to teleport Don't a little bit. you have bit. boosted movement from strength? Oh, that's 45, yep. Yeah, so boosted movement, can't you, can Echo Fighter do something wacky, like teleport to their Echo? Is that a thing they can do? Or is that later? It takes 15, just a second, it takes uh, 15 feet of movement too, so, you know, I, I mm. could at one point... Definitely get some distance, but you know, I I think in the scenario where he runs, you are better off leaping through the window and just using your all of your movement and maybe a stamina action to run to just chase him down. Maybe even go for a, a work set. You well, actually, you and Kanako, to be honest, like you leap through the window and Kanako just follows after you. Son is absolutely. Sun is absolutely useless for that. In addition to uh, adding to your uh, tactics check, another advantage of, of ambushing the inside is it's you'll be closer to him when the fight initiates because outside there's clear like line of sights. Yeah, so... Uh, well, I guess we could place down some... Well, I have ore bearings yeah. and my heart drops. Yeah, something like that. I think. How visible would cow chops be at the windows? I mean, if you place them here, you know. Or maybe? no, like at, at at specifically at the windows. So if you try to escape, you just teleport into cow chops. Outside, you mean? Yeah. Well. Yeah. 
I guess I would also he would teleport as far away as he could. So yeah, that's kind of gambling on. Them. Yeah, that's kind of gambling on where he would teleport. I'd say placing them right only within five feet of the door might be not too bad. Depends. Are they outward opening or inward opening? Which, which way does the door open? Because he they open inward. Yeah, they so... open inward. I don't know about. Mm, I don't know. I don't know about the caltrop angle. I don't know about the caltrops because yeah. another thing is that the moment he steps on them, he immediately notices that there's something yeah, wrong. Yeah, he's like and something. Be right somebody's here. here. Like me hiding like that. <laughs> and also, don't aren't caltrops? Don't they not do anything if they're moving slow? So if uh, he's just casually walking, he does I'm... pop. I mean, if you're casually walking, you're still gonna hurt yourself on caltrops. I think like. But... Moving slowly is like you know general, they're there. So moving carefully. General idea. Uh, I don't think this guy is very physically strong. So, however, we have seen him resist stuff like whole person. But if we're fast enough, we might be able to just lock him down in here. Like, say we get him into the middle of the room. Like, and she'll just kind of walk over here. Just to be obvious. And uh, Latica casts whole person or whatever the fuck. And I don't know. I'll use that as my cue to fucking annihilate him with a bunch of scorching ray shit. He can't react to that. I mean, he's stuck. This That's is awesome another random question. Do the windows have curtains on them? Um, I would doubt it if it's like a shrine, right? They do not. <clears throat> okay. I'm guessing they're like massive church windows, like mosaic church windows. That's what so. I assume too. Indeed. Yeah, like stained glass. Mm. I like this idea of sort of baiting out whatever magical resistance he's using. Yeah, I mean... I was just thinking it through. Uh, how fast can you cast? Oh, wait. He's gone AFK. Oh, I haven't left yet. Uh, oh. I can't cast as fast as you can, but I have about one spell in me, I'd say, in that time frame. Okay, now I leave. Mm. Yeah, because I was thinking uh, they would quicken hold person and then uh, hold their action to cast Hold Person again. And if the Quick and Hold Person goes off, uh, and then they watch the legendary reaction for the Hold Person to go off, that's when the reaction activates. Hold Person gets casted again. And uh, So the only problem with that is um, holding an action on a spell uses your concentration. Yeah. However, so if they, so if they held action to cast hold person, it would immediately drop the hold person. Yeah, but the le the legendary, act, my my point is that the legendary action to get rid of their hold person that would that would go off, and then in reaction to that, because the concentration at that point is just gone, and then reaction just do it again, basically. <laughs> I see. I see what you're cooking. Wait, oh, does that? But they would need quickened. Because because they can yeah that it doesn't work because of quickened, but also it it would technically work because of aura empowerment. No, it wouldn't. Whole person. No, it wouldn't. Oh fuck, it wouldn't work. Ugh, that wouldn't work. I'm basing this purely I mean... on a theoretical thing that wouldn't even work in this situation. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I mean, if we're trying to, like, burn Legendary Resistance stuff, uh, I have Levitate, which can be cast on a hostile target for a, a uh, or an unwilling target. What does Levitate for... do? Uh, it just holds you in midair. Are you able to move forward and back up to the sides and stuff? Uh, not by the power of the spell. Uh, you can go, um... The caster can control uh, your elevation, like if you go up or down. Um, 
But uh, yeah, you can only move by pushing or pulling against a fixed object or surface within reach. Which lets you move as if you're climbing. Basically, zero gravity time. Hold him just above the ground so he can't touch the ceiling. Mm-hmm. It's an interesting idea. Yeah. But then again, he's a caster, and he's probably... Would just use Misty Step? If he needed yeah, to move? Yeah, but... Uh... He's still affected by it with that. Oh, you know what, Axie is... How, what's the range of, of levitate? 60 feet. If he tries to escape, you can just levitate him, so he, all he can do to escape further is... Um, Misty step, yeah. Misty stepping further. That's a great tactic for if he tries to escape. Mm -hmm. I think I might go for a... No, it. A work session. No, not all work session, but a disadvantage attack with that gives no it maybe. But that's a mm -hmm. disadvantage attack, so. Hmm. I also have a couple illusions. Like, I've got silent image and minor illusion. I was just thinking, like, what can I do with those that could help here? Hmm. It's like, Silent image is 10 minutes. Minor illusion, I'm pretty sure, is like... Just like... Yeah, minor illusion is a minute. But isn't concentration? Huh. Okay. I mean... I don't know. I feel like the best thing we should do is like... Maybe someone gets... Even just a cloth or a rag or something, and we grab him and try to blind him, blindfold him with it. I mean, that's silly, but a lot of spells require sight. I can tell you that right now. And the one he used to vanish and teleport and shit, that one definitely requires line of sight. If he doesn't have line of sight, then we're set. Although it would be pretty simple for him to take off a blindfold. Either way, mm -hmm. this guy's. I mean, he's a wizard. He's not a fighter. In the literal it I'm saying that in the literal sense, not the fucking class sense. So. He's not going to be relying on his own strength to take hits. He's going to. I don't know. He's not going to be that strong. I think restraining him as best we can with brute strength might be the way to go. Misty step or not, I don't know, it, it, it's a lot to deal with. We should also just make sure that we're not grouped up too tight. Because if he is a wizard, he probably has the um, fire spell. You know, what, what's yeah. it called again? Fireball. That one. Fire hurts a lot. I don't know. I feel like... I feel like the hardest part of this is just hiding in here. Well, I don't know if we're going outside or inside, but assuming we're going inside, hiding in here is probably the hardest part. <laughs> Might be able to find some places. Uh, I can make... Some of us invisible, and so can Latica. So maybe I'll make myself invisible. We'll make, uh, I don't know, someone who's less stealthy invisible. I'll, I'll try from outside and determine the line of sight. That I think that would help, right? Yeah, basically, line of sight would just be sort of like that. From this window, you can see much more, but from this one, it's really just sort of a straight line here. Actually, silly question. Do the mm -hmm. windows have blinds or curtains? They do not. Yeah, that's, that's what I had asked. As been asked. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, okay. I missed that. Yeah. It's also at this point okay. where Lizzie spots something approaching. 
man and a carriage. You guys have uh, uh, two rounds of actions before he arrives. Oh boy. Uh, uh, Rana's like, like immediately like snaps her fingers to attention and is like, he's coming. Okay, so question: If I um, well, what's it? Uh, what's it called again? By would glorious weapon be obvious if I cast use it? Uh, you have the description of it. Uh, I just me. It wouldn't be obvious. Okay, so she so would do that. That would be one of her accents. Mm -hmm. uh, also. Uh, I will head over here and then cast invisibility on herself. Mm -hmm. Um, how big is Fireball? Twenty oh. foot radius. Oh yeah, I will also go invisible. Make sure you're and all snapped together. Healing ward is sixty feet, right? Mm-hmm. I think so. Snap yourselves to grid. I think. I think it's yeah. Snaps you to the grid in real life. Yep. 60 feet range on healing word. So from here, she's not. So 20 foot oh. radius, so. I don't think I want to be this close. Uh... Since it's trying not to be as close to. 60 feet with, between everybody, but not be within fireball flowings of an ally. She doesn't want to be the target of the fireball. <laughs> yeah. See, best case scenario, we get him to walk like in the middle of the room, and his fireball options will likely include himself. <laughs> yeah, it's just like make his options for fireballing include himself and it's just like you're really gonna do it yeah uh, although the, the the problem is what if he calls it what if he calls the bluff uh, what i'm wondering how actually does the surprise round work in this case if we have a surprise round even like we have a ready action um, with ready, ready action, I'm thinking, right? Yeah, if there is a surprise round, uh, he will basically, it will go through combat, uh, everybody will roll initiative, anybody who rolls above him will have him have the surprise condition during their turns. After his turn, he'll carry on with the remaining people as normal, and then pretty much lose them. Yeah, bless might be a good thing to have up. The moment yeah. the door opens, like a ready detection. Ready detection. So, I will note, like, if you're concentrating on invisibility right now, you can't ready action hold person. Just that's for correct. Future reference. Um. So something else I can do as my second action. If we well went together, then moved back, I could have plus on three people. I have. Well. An idea. Would I be able to, since dropping and dropping concentration is a free action, couldn't I still like drop concentration, whole person? You could, but you yeah. could not like. You can't ready. A I can't person. like hold person him while I'm invisible. I mean, yeah, that's yeah. fair. Yeah, I mean that's fine. Do we but guys like, want I could just hmm. action ready. Do you guys want me to go grapple or just go for cold shots instead? We should oh, grapple him, go. grapple him first, and then we can worry about permanently disarming him. 
I only have a two-hander, so grapple may basically means I can't use my weapon. Um, well, I mean, my thought is I shape, grapple. I shape change. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, okay, that, I, I I forgot your shape changer. <laughs> yeah. So okay. you you only you only have a two-handed weapon right now. Yeah, and I guess a, a javelin. I can hand you a dagger if you need, just in case. To shiv him. I mean, I can use a, a javelin as well, right? Instead? But I don't know if a javelin's a cutting tool. I mean, not cutting, but stabbing is basically the same, right? So, um, for well, Sun's second action, so you'd probably cast Bless on these three. Mm -hmm. um, assuming Xanavar took some steps back and then got, went forward. Yeah. My okay. thing is, there's no point in um grappling him to just like stab him the whole idea is we want to get him want to like tie him up or like hold him down before he has a chance to even escape um it's sandivar kanako and herself assuming mm -hmm. sandivar would take a few steps backwards before and then step forward again <laughs> yes and then sen will be up here you uh, could try to grapple him and cover his mouth since misty step is verbal only Mm. I'm not uh, sure that that's, that's I think that's an advanced grapple, right? Like gagging him. With my well, not gag. Him. I mean, you could just cover his mouth. That's not that advanced, surely. Uh, it's not that hard to cover somebody's mouth. Serum. Uh, uh, let's. I believe you could attempt to like cover his mouth with a like, grapple check. Yeah. Grapple his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. All right. Is there any final things before everybody rolls for stealth? Should I? So, should I prepare a grapple instead of a cold shot, you guys? What do you think? Grapple. What are the. I would say grapple. I don't cold know what the rules are. Like just order. do a grapple. Just grab him. Okay. Maybe. Uh, well, Kanako's yeah, all the way grapple. over there. I was going to say, maybe you try to grapple him and then Kanako ties him up. Basically, stay, take away his spell focuses first. Try to. I think that's depending on how you do. If you can find them, even. Um, but yeah, uh, Sarva is preparing, uh, preparing a grapple. Maybe X and search grapple too. Wait. I could X and search grapple and prepare a cold shot. A, basically, I would have a. I can basically use a. Basically, I would use this and then maybe X search grapple him after uh, tripping him and, you know. What do you think? Try Use my X and search to grapple after tripping him or. Well, th he might have shields, so yeah. But can he, if he's surprised, can he use shield? No, right? You Depending. cannot use reactions if you are surprised. Uh, so, yeah. I think we keep it simple. Just grapple him, and then maybe on your turn you can action surge and fucking Maybe he's gone, him. I can't, can't really action surge, but okay. Hold on, yeah. hold on. I have a question. How do cold shots work for magic missile? Like something that's guaranteed to hit the target? Uh, cold shots cannot be used on magic missile. I mean, uh, that's works. fair. <laughs> It needs I mean, to I have figured, I just wanted to know, like, I wanted to know, like, what's what's the ruling on that? Because I'm like, if there's called shots, why don't I just use magic missile? I'm lucky. Okay. okay, I guess I'll just... So, do you want to save, want to save the grappling case it breaks out? Or want to use it to a second attack, basically, to grapple him? After basically cold shotting him, what right. do you think? I don't. There needs to be. There doesn't need to be a cold shot. We just need to get him under control. So you right. can okay. save that action surge Grapper. if your back. first grapple misses. I need a break. We can to worry about cold check. shots. <laughs> we can worry checks. about. Do we need to do stealth checks if we're invisible? Yes. You, you roll do. with advantage. I'm just sitting here. Yeah. I mean, Tanaba is not moving breathing here, heavily. so I hope hopefully there's some Maybe. sort of. Oh, fuck off. 
I think mean, that's kind of lame, though. I'm just I'm standing yeah. here invisible. The armor still would give you disadvantage. I don't have. Oh, that's or oh, yeah, that's uh, Xanavar. What does say? I don't have armor. What are you talking about? And as a replacement to your stealth check, roll me a deception check. Can't go. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure I have. <laughs> no charisma? I think we are fucked. <laughs> yeah. No charisma. It depends. Yeah. I mean, it's a door between us, so. Literally, all he has to do is just walk. Far enough into the church for you to start trying to grab him. Oof. That's not very high, but... Uh, can I? Is, a, is movement... My movement is normal, right? I can... I, when I'm holding my grapple, I'm basically not just waiting to, to get with him and reach, right? I can just move up to him. Uh, if you're readying an action, it, you cannot ready movement as part of an action. You would have to, you would have to be within range for the ready to trigger. Got that stupid. Can I ready my move? Ready movement? <laughs> um, I think you can. I think we I mean, might get fucked by mechanics here, is what I, it's sounding like. I don't think you can ready movement, actually. I don't think that's... You can ready actions, act, movement is not an action, although there is a dash action. Maybe? I, I'm gonna go with no, you cannot. Yeah, cannot so ready. basically readying grapple is completely useless. Potentially, yes. He's not going to be within my reach, so... No. Great. What the waste. All right. Well, that complicates things. I thought you would be able to grab him. I don't know, then. He starts to move towards the building. Oh, oh no, it's Lucius 1. There's multiple Luciuses. Just uh, get rid of that <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> Called out for the fact that I copied them and pasted the token. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll step in. And you will see the person sitting there. Uh, as he steps in, from the last time you saw him, he looks very, very much different. Last time you saw him, he was confident. He was standing straight up, well dressed, all that. Now his hair is disheveled, wears a cloak covering most of his body his, you can sort of see on the left side there is some sort of clump on his cloak and his eyes give a sort of feeling of lot less so a look of purpose more so a look of impulse as he steps in his eyes will sort of Glare at the disguise can't go. And will sir sort of smile. You'll do greatly, he says, as he'll walk towards you. Can we do anything or have have uh, you guys prepared anything? <laughs> you forgot about it. So. Well, I was kind it, of it, baiting on you being able to grab anything. him, so I don't know. I don't know what to do now. She's just pretending to be an old man who has really bad hearing. So, uh, <laughs> do we want to do the the hold person, the hold person <laughs> scorching ray strat? He'll sort of like step here and sort of smile. Where are the rest of your friends? As he sort of looks, scanning the room, and sees some something. of you. I'm, I'm fucking, I'm fucking doing yep. it. All I'm right, dropping everybody, roll for in. initiative. Yeah, it's, it's, 
surprise stuff really sucks as kind of it never Bro, works. Bro, surprise well. rounds suck so badly in five e. They're so right. bad. Hang on, yeah. like, right after him. I forgot like to works. put you guys in the initiative before I click. Sorry, I bro. feel like uh -oh. I feel like it works for just, enemies, uh, but it doesn't work issue. for hilarious. Yeah, no five surprise rounds of five e are just kind of terrible. Too great. <laughs> 10.04 Okay mm -hmm. eh. Drama is at 10.2 Of course he goes first <laughs> Damn, his dex Is yes. It's not just his dex, Smile yeah, it's uh, his, in, no, it's his initiative it. modifier. Yep, it's he's a smart boy. Yeah. And... Oh, this guy is annoying. And it's sort wizard. initiative. It's the, it's the strongest class of the game. <laughs> and uh, let's start this music. Um, let's start. Door is closed, right? Uh, door is not closed. He did not close the door behind him. Oh, oh right, he I'm changed right time. Time. Lucius' his turn. Easy can just close the door, I think. Let's see, let's see. Uh, what do I want to do? No? Just gonna measure out some stuff, don't mind me too much. Fireball. Could be fun there, that's a potential option. And that's a potential option. Am I able to get that? Oh, that's like a perfect option. Oh, I, yeah, oh, perfect. No. Yeah. So, uh, there. <laughs> oh. Um. Starting he, off strong, huh? Yeah, yeah. He's starting off quite strong. Uh, he's going to also uh, empower spellcast this. Uh -oh. So this is gonna be an empowered spellcast fireball. Uh. Let me just uh do. -do. Uh oh. Third level. That is a fail. <laughs> you <laughs> moron! You <laughs> idiot! All right, that one. I actually won. Can't, can't can't use. Uh, yeah, that is a now one. That's unfortunate. <laughs> well, there goes a third level spell slot. Uh, let me just cover <laughs> that real quick. <laughs> All right, cool, cool. But that would have been oof. How much damage extra to uh, that would? That uh, would have been. Uh, let me just uh, thirty three plus one d six plus eighteen. So that would have been uh, 57 damage. Holy shit. Okay. Is that like dead? Soggy? Hang on. Hang on. Um, I don't think we did massive damage, I, so it wouldn't I, have been I, dead. I have a voice Sun in my ear. Hang on. Let me, uh, I, I, I I'm, I'm getting some, uh, so, uh, I'm going to use a villain point on that. Oh, no. I, this Wait. campaign has generated one villain point that I'm going to, uh, use. Why did we do that? Oh, oh, one of it, one of them came from a, uh, <laughs> oh dear! Someone looks and at you. Looks directly at came you. From the first fight. So oh, I, I, you. Oh, I, 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 I currently have two people yelling at me in my ear. <laughs> Except oh, I it's in chat. Yeah. So uh, let me just. Uh, go, let Is me. it fail point of evil or another D6 added to you it? Gain, if you gain an additional plus two damage for every die of damage uh, you spell. It, the villain point is being used to reroll that. Oh, we vault. Yep. It's okay, he'll just fail again. Because yep, he's man. stupid! <laughs> oh, guys, he didn't fail not. again. He didn't I fail did again, not fail. guys. Net 20. He, he did the opposite <laughs> of failing, actually. <laughs> well, um... Yeah, okay. so... Good well, thing we have that, two healers, actually. So, is that good. is a uh -huh. deck save from Sun and Ganko against uh, 57 fire damage. What's the DC? The DC is 16. Oh! I, I think I'm, might... I'm going to be honest, son. Uh, I don't think I can, the DC I can matters to you. It, it does, because I have it absorb does. elements. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. oh. So, didn't, oh. Really, didn't son will, hurt. Sun will react and um, absorb elements that. All right. So that will be <laughs> uh, half of 57 for you, right? Because you passed the save, so it halved. Yep. So that will be... Uh, 28. 28.5. 57 and 28.28. So that'll be 28. Yep. So. Well, it would be 
she make they made the save and the spell, so would it be even less? Yeah, you have absorb elements, right? I'm so vulnerable to fire. Half of half. I had a vulnerable oh, to fire. Oh, oh, right. no, no, I'm vulnerable to fire. Well, right. isn't the... Isn't doesn't absorb elements just say you have resistance to the triggering damage damage type mm -hmm. until the start of your next turn? Doesn't. Oh yeah. How does mm. that work with vulnerability though? Does it just it completely negate it, it? Yeah. The 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 question is, does it? Replace yeah. Does it, it, does, 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 it does the resistance okay. or vul and vulnerability mm. cancel out, or does one override the other? I I think it's going to end up like advantage and disadvantage and neutralize it so that you're not. Vulnerable That's how I would out. rule it. And I'm perfectly fine I mean, with being well that either way. way sun That's lives. how I roll it. Yeah. So, but yeah. I do need to do this. Mm -hmm. And bless us still up. Cool. That's bl bl you. Bl would, can I go with bless? Uh, that can that I 10 includes. Right? That, that 10 includes no. bless. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that was included. a max roll bliss. That was mm -hmm. a max roll. <laughs> it couldn't have been. <laughs> All right. Can, good start. Good can start. You produce anything to help her, right? Inspiration or anything? Does anybody have inspiration left? Uh, Sun has one inspiration left. Um, but... Can it be but so can, someone else? Um, who goes first? Sun or... Um, Kanaku? Okay. Yeah, Sun, Sun goes, goes first. first. Sun, Sun can give a massive feel to them. They should be fine. Mm -hmm. right. Anything else that you guys are doing as, a, as part of getting fireballed? Then I turn back to normal when I go talk to uh, I believe you do, yes. Yes. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Uh... Maybe it's death, though. Mm. No, you do not. It's yeah, if it's you people. die. Ah. You are still old man. Yeah, old human man. You man. That's pretty good. Yep. Let me just measure out how far you are. Ah, too far. Oh, well. Too far for that. Anyways, he's going to now, uh, as a bonus action, uh, fire a firebolt at Sun. Bonus action? Indeed. He fast. <laughs> is he a, is uh -oh. he a sorcerer? He's not a sorcerer. <laughs> that'll, be 19, that'll be 19 fire damage. Your absorb elements is still up, so it is no, only 19. <laughs> Wait, how is he casting as a bonus action? Is that the Even thing Willis them. can do? Or is this is he just is this just boss mechanics? Well, it's probably uh, you'll have to hit him That's... with a uh, tactics check on your turns. That's, That's why true. I said we should have used inspiration for the 57 on Kenny Crew. Uh, <sighs> That's okay, I got healing word. Oh wait, spell <laughs> failure. Uh oh. If you do it first level. Do it first level. It's literally a 5% oh, yeah. chance. So that's the uh, no, damage on the sun. Yeah, so it's um, just doing the 13. It should be full damage because. Well, I'm doing the 13 just to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair, fair. Right, cool, uh, cool. Oh, yeah, it doesn't guarantee I... minus anyway. Right. So. How do oh, I boy. look at this? Oh, this... Yeah. I'm still 5e, mm -hmm. just yo-yo. I'll stand here. Oh boy! Alright, cool, cool. That'll be his turn. Seki. Wait, hold on, what is Sun's ace? No, wait, it's tw it was a 27. Never mind. Yeah, no. <laughs> that was a, uh, a 19. Healing word on uh, Sun. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> you son of you are not gonna. You are a bitch. All right. He's so dead. I don't care what anybody says. Yeah, He's I do. So dead. I do. Oh my god! I'm putting him in the dirt. I'm do, putting him in the dirt. Do you want to make a uh, tactics check on him? <laughs> I, I, I want you guys to know the traits. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Uh. Oh, never mind. It's fourth level or higher. Yeah, no. He he doesn't need to make a check for this. We're gonna hmm. put this guy on a t-shirt. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, this is so good. Uh, I've seen be I've seen better recoveries. This is not even a problem, legitimately. Mm. Alright. So that gets counterspelled. Uh, hmm, never mind. I will say that counterspell has changed its second level or lower, not third level. It was still a first level spell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. So, th th thanks for the information, though. Okay. Hmm. Uh, uh, tactics? Uh, that's about all you can do. Unless you got something else. No, that was a bonus action. Um. All right, I can't cast another level spell. But what I can do. Hmm. I think you just tactics. I think I do, but I also think I do one more thing. Oh, hold. Let's spare the dying. Mm hmm. All right. On, uh, yeah, I'm kind of stabilized. Uh, okay, we like that. Yeah, no, no, no rolling death saves, please. <laughs> and, uh, fucking like tactics that. that guy. All righty. Unfortunate. <laughs> Fuck it. I, I, you know what? <laughs> do I do it? Do you do what? what do is I it? re roll it? Sure. Depends on with what do you want to reroll it. I have my uh, blood gift reroll. Mm -hmm. On a tactics check? No. I mean, I did it. <laughs> I did it the first fight. It went from a not, one not to on a, two. Not many. on a tactics check. You, we, we're one turn into the fight. We don't need it on a tactics check. We have other turns. <laughs> I Just, know, but it like the first shrine fight, I did it because I got a one. It turned it into a 20. It was just like, okay. Save that blood for something be. else. You know what the really sucky part about this is? Is that Sun rolled the highest on stealth. Mm -hmm. And it still didn't matter. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I rolled his perception check and he rolled like a... No, I rolled high. It. He rolled an 18 on his perception check, so it pretty much be all of y'all. I got 19, so... Okay. It didn't matter. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, that's my turn. That's all I can do. Alright. Oh, fuck. Son. That's safe. It's a fail. Uh... Why is my chat not scrolling? You could oh, use a destiny. Fuck. For what, though? Oh, also bless the sound, by the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I forgot. Um, Use a destiny to make that into a success and so fail. Uh, I, I, I was, wasn't thinking about destiny. I was thinking about the inspiration. It mm. doesn't help either because you have to get up with a uh, healing. And that just <laughs> cleans the slate anyway. Um, that'll be Sun's turn. Alright. Can't go. You are unconscious, but stable. Alorana. That's wicked. Uh, Rana doesn't move, but uh, she fucking suddenly, like, pops out of invisibility, but she's just fucking spewing a long line of flame from her mouth towards Lucius. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And not three rays, it's just this long, continued stream that pauses for about a second and then continues as she fucking scorching ray quick and scorching ray. That's Hell fucking yeah. sick. Would all of these attacks have advantage or only the first one? Uh, according to invisibility, uh, so I think I think all of the first... The first three would, would be... the next three would not. Okay. Okay. Because they're all counted as a single part of attack. Hit, hit, hit. All those will hit. That's 26. Uh, sorry, I consumed this reaction. 26. <clears throat> hit, hit, and miss. Yacht. Oh, wait, never mind. That's not an advantage. Uh, miss, hit, miss. 
Nice. Damage is going to be wicked. So this it's an amount of hit. Three seven damage. Mm-hmm. Cool. Oh. Ooh. Gaming. Oh. It's health bar moved. I see what symbol he, I see what he's got. Or rather, I, I, I'm pretty sure I know what that symbol means, but... I mean, yeah. Probably mage on my own. <laughs> you expect a wizard uh, to be walking around without mage armor up? What, are you crazy? <laughs> yeah. Last, like, eight hours. No reason not to have it up. It do be a classic, too. Mm -hmm. All right, anything else? Yeah. yeah. After that, Rana just <laughs> fucking... She's like fucking coughing up like fire and shit, and she will hide behind the the pillar. Uh, tactics. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Damn, uh, I gotta go save Sun then. Shit. Can I do Arcana instead since he's a wizard? Yes. Uh, that will be sufficient. He has the following traits. He has blighted. Cunning, foresight, lingering, rapid caster. Uh, blight means he's blight related. Cunning means that he pretty much is aware of your party composition and will use that knowledge against you. Foresight means that he cannot be surprised. Lingering uh, uh, means that the effects of this combat can linger to out beyond combat and aren't easily removed. And Rapid Caster means that he can cast any cantrip spell he knows as a bonus action. Ah, that's pretty neat. And he that's has the, he has the following abilities: spellcasting, armor blight, blighted blisters, grasping blight. Cool. Oh, uh, if you ID his spell casting, you choose two basically two levels of his spell casting. There are a total of four, with cantrips being oh. counted as zero. Oh, okay. So okay. zero, one, two, three. You choose two of those, and you learn the spells of that level. Give me two and three. On spellcasting? Yes. He has Darkness, Mirror Image, Misty Step, Scorching Ray for second level. Yeah, and for third, he has Counterspell, Fireball, Hypnotic Pattern. Oh. Oh, wait, that's Illusion Magic, isn't it? Uh, mirror hypnotic image? pattern is a loose is or hypnotic pattern. Hypnotic pattern? Yeah, uh, illusion. That's a both of those hypnotic are hypnotic pattern is illusion rather. Yes, it is. Yep. Excellent. <laughs> Alright, Anything else? Okay, uh, something we have an advantage on. <laughs> Alright, Lodeca. Fellas, I'm not even gonna cap with you. I think I'm hard countered this fight because if I uh, <laughs> if I magic missile. <laughs> He probably has shield. Uh, hey, if I hold person, he has legendary resistance. <laughs> talking mad shit. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't have his reaction. Well, I said we're gonna reaction, right? we're gonna roll him. I didn't say I was. I said we're gonna roll him. Mm, I would mm. say yeah. He doesn't have his reaction. Also, uh, he doesn't have his reaction. If you can land a hold person, that gives me time to get sun up. I can't hold. There's no way I hold person him because he has legendary resistance. So he's just gonna shrug it off because he's a bitch. So I but, think like, I will burn missile. one of them. Doesn't he? Can't you get red, legendary resistance back? Like legendary it, resistance does not take any like consumption. It's yeah, a finite so resource. Oh, it's a finite resource. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Once it's gone, it's gone. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it changes from boss to boss. Okay, I thought it was something he could like get back at the start of each round or something. No. Okay. No. Um. Well, let me tactics check and see how many times he could do that before okay. I. Start spending resources. Actually, nope. what was it? Did he have that as an option? Uh, that that is like uh, that is something I or I should actually be reading my token, not my notes. He does have legendary resistance as well. He also it, uh, has the feat Warcaster. Mm -hmm. I see. His his wisdom. Like the last time I tried to hold person him, he didn't have great wisdom. So. Um, do yeah, have, I think right. you probably don't have Misty Step to here, and if you give me with it, nope. you would just fireball us. I guess, um, fuck. he used his reaction, by the way. 
Yeah, he's he, used his reaction. He's currently okay. reactionless. Yep. Okay. I'll see what I'll, I'll, I'll full send it. I'll full, something. I'll full send it. We'll see what happens. Uh, I'm going to use my enchanted spell slot mm -hmm. on hold person. So the DC for that is 16. 16 on the enchanted one? Yep. All right. I'll make the wisdom saving throw. No! As, as, Damn. Barely. As, as you cast hold person on him, he sort of turns and looks at you and says, Do you really think I would fall for the same thing twice? Yes. Yes! <laughs> he doesn't respond to that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I saw your focus. You're not as strong as you think you are. She says that she hides behind the pillar. <laughs> I'm fuck out of here. Um, he rolls his eyes. Well, that's all I could do, because unfortunately I do not have quickened. Yeah. I think that's it. Maybe just look at a, at a powered spellcast again to see if I can do that again. But that's my turn, so you can continue. Okay, dokie. Zanvar. Yeah, this is fact. Make a tactics check. <laughs> this is fact. This is indeed a fact. He's used what? Two third level slots? That's already? insufficient. Uh, he did use two third yes. level slots already. That's that? Well, assuming. He has, a, he has an extra one from Empowered. Do we know he's sure. Empowered? Well, I guess he, did, he, probably, he, he probably would be. The, the Empowered was uh, the overclocked magic, not the. Or in power. No, so does he not have to be? Would we have learned if he had that feat or not? We, we don't know that, but I would be betting he probably does. Well, no, we because he it, has Warcaster. Yeah. Yeah, that, I I did tell you what feats he has, and it's only a Warcaster. Oh, it's oh, only okay. War. Oh. So, oh. Wait, so he's out. Unless kill him. He's, <laughs> if he's exactly, head, dude. If he's exactly level five, he's out. Yeah, kill kill him. He's level six. He right still has one more. Oh, that's true. He still has Scorching Ray. Don't forget. Mm -hmm. I ain't scared of no Scorching Ray. He also Take got his Blight stuff. What was the stuff he had for the, uh... For traits? What was the... Yeah, what were the... Or no, the abilities. He said spellcasting. Yeah, uh, here, let me... Let me write down a list and drop it in... Chat. Mm-hmm. I have oh, all man, warned you, had... um... Kanaku, that because he has Warcaster, he can catch Scorching Ray when he's sent up. If I had Quicken Spell, I could Mind Sliver, Hold Person. A tech for level 6. Okay. Wait, hold on. Grasping Blight, that sounds familiar. What you doing, Zanvar? I was waiting until you guys were done talking, so, uh, sure, uh, I, are you guys still wanting me to grapple him first or try to attack him with the Just, just hit him. Just hit him. Yeah, I, it, it doesn't matter at, at this point where we can't risk wasting actions when, uh, we got two people down already. Uh, um, the other, only other thing I could potentially suggest. If you would be to heal Kanaku with I a potion. I have nothing that... Bonus egg, if a healing potion, but that's an action to use, so... Mm -hmm. You can action search if you need. Mm -hmm. I almost think that trying to grapple him is worth it, because he might waste his slots on Misty Step to get out of your grapple. You yeah, to use first attack to trip him first and then depending if yeah, it works I, or not i might use uh action search to grab her or feel potion to kanako i i think that feeding a potion to kanako is a good use of action just because it means one more person he has to attack mm -hmm. uh, maybe if you trip him he has to stand up and you get an attack or I, he I misty say, steps away don't worry about grappling right now Worry about getting a people up, back up, 
And then once everyone's up, then we can try that. I would have used thing on it, uh, the mm. uh, bash kind of thing. I just mm -hmm. forget to click on Damn. it. Damn. That's, that's a big um, number. I'll also use this. 14? <laughs> Are you able because to like, use uh, two things at, on the same attack? I wouldn't know about it, but I can see. Not I think, yeah, I think you can only use one maneuver at once. Yeah, I think you can only use one maneuver. It up. No, don't think so because I can use precision attack with something else too. Mm. Pretty sure, because precision attack is just I actually hit the attack, you know. Mm. I was gonna check that. I remember that fighters changed in Syric, and I'm not reading all that. So, uh, oh yeah, I can go down if you want to. Martial facility? No. There are maneuvers, but it doesn't really say anything about maneuvers, right? It's just you can use them. Yeah, Let me go you can only use one maneuver uh, per attack. I have seen. I think you tripping attack. Yeah, just trip him. That, yeah, my thought, if he fails, either he stands up and you attack him, or he misty steps away and he loses a spell slot. Shrimple. Sure. Let's go back on the menacing then. I still think it's wrong, right, but so the, let's go ahead. The with... trip attack. Let's see. Trip, yeah. So that'll be six. Plus three extra damage from the trip attack. Plus four. So that'll be 13 damage. Uh, as you strike him, I am going to need a. a double check this. I'm going to need a con save from Xanvar and from Seki. Kanko, you auto fail this because you are unconscious and cannot hold your breath as a sort of burst of spores sort of pop out oh. from from him. Oh. Interesting. And probably right. shield. And con save, you said? Yep. Constitution saving throw. Oh, okay. Uh, Alright, both of you succeed and do not take any blight. Kanko, you gain three blight. Okay, Whoa. healing for Kanko, what do you think, guys? I yeah. think so, yes. Yeah, it's heal. I thought that was always part of the plan. I was going to say, like, whatever you do next is heal Kanako. Yeah. Wait, did he, did he succeed the trip attack? Oh, he oh, still needs to make save. the strength save. Let me yeah. save Fall over his strength. He fails. That's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. Plus three strength. Yeah. Interesting. That will mm. be a uh, healing potion on Kanako. Oh, he's probably juiced up by the blight. Probably. I have my suspicions on what happened to him. And, uh... If I'm right... Yeah, you... All the more reason to. A normal potion yeah. is basically it's 2d4 plus 2, right? Yes. On Kanako. I'm gonna have to... Just a second. Oh, um... Let me... Let me reread mm -hmm. um Florius Rappen. Hmm. I'm not sure if it actually goes down when I go on consoles. Yeah, I figured that out and let me know. If it, if it isn't concentration, I probably shouldn't. It's not concentration. Is it channel uh, divinity? Is it channel divinity, yes. Ah. Uh. Uh, I'm looking to see. I have to remove my potion just a second. It says nothing about when I go down, so it's just, so it's still up. Alright. So, oh, well, oh, 1d6 of Radiant. Alright. Pull that Radiant. Okay. 
I will then go make a pre-attack action as Unleash Inclination. Right. Goes off. Have an, I think, I think I might go for um, for a shot. But what do you guys think? Before you, uh, uh, would... before you make this attack, uh, roll the one d six for radiant damage. Yeah. Oh, for me, I roll it. Yes. I would say uh, don't worry about called shots. I want this guy tied up yeah, and also, mobilized before we decide to chop off his also, hands. Also, uh, yeah. One thing, uh, I would suggest not attacking again right now. I will oh, also wait, say that what? this boss is uh, this boss is not one that you can do call shots against. They require a specific trait to have called shots done against them. And he what if we tie him up and just say we want to chop off his arms and legs? That would be something for out of initiative when he's. Why can't restrained. we just kill him? Like kill him normally. Yeah, I, uh, just kill also him. Also try that. Yeah. Yeah, like what? Why? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it does matter. Why is this? Yeah. Also, uh, again, I, I I'd recommend not attacking again right now until. Uh, until at least Kanako's away from him. As, uh, she, she is, uh, you know, monk, so I don't think she's going, going to be away from him. Well, I mean, the, the blight burst that he just did is not a reaction. It is, we... it looks to be on hit. I could save it, just saying, but that would be for my turn then, what I have. That's yeah, fine. You, you did stand. plenty. You did plenty. It's yep. going to stand up, and then we'll have no, no advantage of the text. That's what I'm saying, basically. <laughs> that's that's fine. We were in a shit spot, and we're just trying to get out of it right now. Yeah. Yeah. He's, um, he's, he's vulnerable to radiant battery. If he stands up, I can't make an reaction attack anyway because people are still near me, right? Uh. So yeah, I, if I'm not attacking, I can't do anything. Basically, what I'm saying. Actually, no, Kaneko fine. is awake now, so it's not an auto-fail, right? It would not be an auto-fail if you're not unconscious. Okay. Interesting mm. thing to note, the Blight thing didn't go off when he got struck by Scorching Ray. So maybe it's not, it's triggered on like an attack. Like on a melee, melee attack? attack. Thing. Yeah, melee attacks, which is unfortunate for our melee attackers. There might be a way to counter it. So Yeah, we gotta no figure things out. Attacks or no attacks? What do you say, guys? I think you hold your attacks so you don't stack up light. Yeah, yeah. that's what I think. Okay. Lucius is going nowhere, for now. It'll be my turn, then. All right. If he missy steps away, then he will... Well, then, only then have he, is going, he is going somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Alright. We'll have to stand up, though. He'll sort of... He'll pretty much place a hand on the ground and you can find it from underneath the cloak you can see that his left arm has become fully blight as it sort of grows as vines into the ground that pop up underneath Zanavar and I need you to uh, make me a resist check against a grapple Okay Oh, he's yeah, I knew it. It's it's the big guys. It's the big guys from the second shrine's ability. Alright. Hmm. That is I mean, twenty four. You know what? I'm glad we didn't try to grapple him. <laughs> glad we did that. Five. Alright, you are grappled and you are restrained currently. Um, do you want to use my fucking inspiration on that? I'm not sure what? 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 <laughs> I mean, I can't make it anyway, so I, I can roll worse, though. I don't, I don't what? think it's worth it. I don't think the yeah, it's not worth it. You could, you could make it, but it's not worth it, because you have to roll pretty high still. Restraint is basically no attack either, right? A restrained creature's speed is zero. It can't benefit to any bonuses from its speed. It has disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. And attack rolls against the creature have advantage. The creature's attack rolls have disadvantage. You can still attack, you just have disadvantage. 
Okay. What's the magic effect? Uh, no, this would be a natural effect, not magic. You okay. also have your echo. I mean, this still this mind, isn't so. this still this patient. This um, to... I mean, yeah, I can't. No, it doesn't hurt, help. I need movement to teleport, so you know. Oh. Damn. Yeah. All right, so I'll do that. But can't can't you attack from your echo to still case them though? Still disadvantage. Yes, yeah, that's oh, okay. Because it's my attack. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Not sure if it's inspiration's worth. If so, just I guess just go on with whatever you want. If you don't think it's worth it, I'll just hold on to the inspiration yeah, for later. Good. Okay. I can reverse. That's the that's the thing, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Mm, I I got what well, I'm got. Okay. So wait, never mind. That was action to do that. Am I? I'm dumb. Um. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. He will bonus action misty step. Let's see. What's the range on misty step? Let me. Thirty feet. Should be thirty. Thirty feet. He did, cool. Cool. He did stand up though, right? Uh, he didn't stand up next to you. Ah, right, good. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Well, at least I will be able to stand up without poking. Yeah? Yep. So he Misty Steps stands up here. And... Walk up here. What's up? <laughs> Try me, bitch. Smile. Seki. Um, but what's the range of on counter spell? <laughs> this guy's this guy thinks I'm afraid of him. He can't counter spell anymore if he's level five. We, we have probably should like well we know how many spells he has, right? Spell slots. I'm keeping okay. track. I'm slot Healing counting. Word. Yeah, um, that, you only get that once I... you fully unlock up uh, the Spells. Huh? So the second, the second time you identify spellcasting, you also learn what level spellcaster he is. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing if he's not five, he's like six. Oh yeah, sun yeah. heals for ten. So does that go through? He doesn't go counter spell it. Counter spell. Go on. So did, you, did you say he does or doesn't? Does not. Okay. Whew. Hmm. All right. Uh, tactics time. All right. Oh. What would you like to identify? Uh, let's see. <clears throat> um. Okay. Do I do spell casting or arm of blight? I'm pretty sure we've seen grasping blight. We know what grasping oh. blight is. Well, Wait, it is, might, it's probably slightly is, different because he could teleport away from is it. Is Xenomar no longer active. restrained because... He is still restrained. The vines have pretty much grown out of the ground and are still restraining him. Uh, hmm. So it might still be worthwhile to check it to see what would it take to get. I out think of we it. can we can roughly assume what his spell slots are. We should focus on his actual abilities. Yeah. Uh, armor blight. I think. All right, armor blight. This is, he makes an attack with his blighted arm. It has a reach of 10 feet. It has a plus eight to hit, deals 2d6 plus five, and inflicts blight, 1d4 blight. Um, was it one check or was it multiple, like for, for a 20? Uh, pretty much it's if you're far enough over the DC, you get multiple. Uh -huh. Okay, that is not far In enough over case, the DC. Damn. Um, okay, let's see. I've used bonus action, I've used my check. Um, hmm. 
Does it seem like I could get Son of our free with Mage Hand? Uh, no, he he is much stronger than your Mage Hand and is still like a, being restrained by it. You okay. could set, set, set the uh, what was it? Why vines on fire if you want to? If it would work. Hmm. Uh, would the vines be in the same space as Enavar or like merging? Okay, it would so be in the same space. Have... Okay, so create bonfire is probably a bad idea. Depends. Putting him on a pyre at that point. Fucking witch fire. Let's see. Hmm. Do I just blast him? Which him? Uh, Lucius. Uh, you could. I, I think we would want to get his reaction out of the way somehow. Uh, I don't think I have something that would. Part of me wants to bait a uh, shield with magic missile. Mhm. Mm I just want to get his reaction out of the way. Wait. Uh, well, you continue, but I'm just thinking out loud. I don't think. Is legendary you know, fuck it. an action or a reaction, or can he just? I light, I light him on fire. Which him? Him. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> there's Sogs with Zavar being lit on fire too. Yeah, there were two <laughs> him. <laughs> yeah, there's only two him. All right, he'll fail and <laughs> take uh, four Wait, fire I'm damage. Free. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Now I'm partially regretting not keeping burning magic, but it's just like. Fire resistance is nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is what your experiments have brought you? Yes. Huh. <coughs> and you thought you could control it. Oh, I do control it. Just look or at your fighter you. friend there. It doesn't what has control he so me exhausted yet. to say? Yet. <laughs> oh, uh, he takes damage from booming blade, by the way. I gotcha. Uh, how much? I think it's only a d8. 1d8 thunder. Should right, be just a d8. Yeah, we're, in, we're not level 5 yet. Gotcha. Yet. <laughs> level 5 is when booming yet. blade is actually People worth keep it. saying yet. <laughs> There's so many yets mm -hmm. in this. People saying, yeah, yeah, we're gonna get out. Of, we're gonna get out of here. I'm right. not bothered. Sun. Uh... All right. Oh. Damn. Two things. So, I, because of what Sun is about to do, I do actually want to verify the spell casting level, just so mm -hmm. I know he doesn't have a third spell slot left. All right. The remaining spells that have been said is his cantrips are Chill Touch, Firebolt, Lightning Lure. He has, for first level, Absorb Elements, Ice Knife, Mage Armor, Magic Missile, Shield. Uh, I, I, I meant that I wanted to know if he had a third spell. So and, not that. and with that, he is a six level caster. So he has one third spell slot left. That's correct. Good oh thing boy. I checked that. Uh, I was really I was hoping you would walk up and cure wounds him and I would fireball of you. Darn. <laughs> no, I was going to, I was going to empower cat and power um yeah. and power channeling cure wounds myself for the giga funny healing mm -hmm. but i can't do that um, <laughs> i mean you can and he would waste his last counter spell yeah, i think that's that, worth doing what's the range that, 60 feet yeah but I just I mean, would, okay question can you hold a cure wounds um the problem is i wouldn't oh, be able to hold it. i can't hold it empowered it's the next okay. ball on the turn. All right, because I was just planning on sh shooting him with a magic missile, but. All oh, right. I'm I mean, I can move. I can use my empowered thing later. I, I just thought moved. it'd be very funny to just heal for sixty right now. I think it would suck <laughs> for you, but if he does end up counterspelling your heal, then he's out of third level spell slots, and we can just beat the shit out of him. Yeah, if he doesn't have fireball at that rate, and then he's left with fucking scorching rays, and he's only yeah. got what like 
two the only two left. the only two scary spells in his list are scorching ray and magic missile yeah. mm. magic missile more than scorching ray to be perfectly honest with you mm -hmm. and t two of us can just completely negate magic missile as is so. mm -hmm. i think it's worth going for either you heal for 60 or he wastes his last spell slot how much yeah, do movement it. do we have what 60 feet cut a spell you can just move out of the way possibly i uh, i think it's better if you bait it yeah I mean, what do you... give him a choice i think you're right it's better to give him the choice yeah it's better to bait it because even if he does use it i still have another second oh. level career all, all it takes all it takes is some all it takes is some unfortunate movement and then a bunch of people get fireballed or he counterspells a clutch heal yeah and look at that or look at this yeah. that's mm -hmm. screaming fireball so give him a choice son's gonna give him the choice mm -hmm. see so well bonus action um empower channeling mm -hmm. and see so will commit the second level spell slot of cure wounds on herself all right Yeah, well, then. Uh, is he going to counterspell that? Yeah, I click the button first. He doesn't counterspell it. Okay, okay. okay he's saving. So... He's saving that for a rainy day. That's all right. That's all right. Let us heal up. Those are letting the healer get away with healing. That's um, mm -hmm. that's what I'm saying. I uh, can't believe he's so. got a fireball sun again. <laughs> I mean, I'm go ahead, fireball. <laughs> Sun's gonna move yeah. a bit to the right so that he's not in that one again. <laughs> um, let's see. So, thirty-seven. So, full heal plus six ten. Uh, da 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 da. Math is hard. Uh, one. And then... So you all stand up. So now she has 10 feet of movement left. Mm -hmm. Um, can you draw a fireball again? I can draw a fireball for you, let's see. Um... Yeah, that's about as close as I can get. I have to choose. Uh, you'd have to choose, and you'd almost certainly choose them. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it would be a pretty juicy fireball. It would be a very juicy fireball. However, the problem is they have legs. True. They, they do are have capable of movement. Mm hmm And what? also, if you engage them in melee, anything else? Then suddenly, um, that that is Sun's turn. All uh, all I'm saying is, I think we're in a good spot if he uses that third level slot, no matter how it's used, because then he can't use it again. Mm hmm He can't use it again, and then Sun can get up whoever goes down. Because exactly. He can't. Oh, I mean, he could third level scorching wave, but that seems. Oh, I'll nice. only get. I'll only be scared if both our healers are down. That's the only way I'll ever get scared. Mm -hmm. I'm chilling. I'm trying to keep my spell slots in reserve right now, but like, if he gives me a chance to do some shenanigans, I'm gonna pull off some shenanigans. Does succeed? Look, look, after after the fight I was in on fucking Wednesday, I, you can't fucking scare me with this shit. <laughs> No further fucking elaboration, though. Was it the burb game? It was the burb game. You can't fucking scare me after that fucking fight, dog. Burb moment. Uh, I mean, we were challenging a, a fight that was way above our level, so... And we uh, won! Hey. Oh boy. 
tactics really do and much. such. <laughs> <laughs> this is a this is a problem. Maybe you could. Oh, I was gonna say good tactics. You already did that. There has yeah. to be a way to negate his blight so that our marshals aren't just fucked and they can't do anything. Mm -hmm. Yes, I mean we know so stuff. We know stuff about the blight already, so I think we would know at this point how to remove it, like uh, radiant stuff. Well, you know? we could we could cure our blight stacks before in the first fight fight, right? I think there was something here. I don't know if anyone wrote it down, because I most certainly... Actually, uh, is it in... The... I mean, technically, your attacks do have radiant damage on them. Hmm. I'm not sure if that is helpful at all in this situation or not. Is it, is it only melee it attacks? It's removed. All, all, all martial attacks. It says right removed right now. all at once by healing. By any healing or a DC 10 medicine check is an action. I will point out but, that was a different enemy. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah. Like, it it's not quite the same blight. This guy's. Well, there's got to still be a way to negate it because there's no way that our marshals are just going to have to get blighted to actually deal damage. Like that would be fucking. Well, yeah, stupid. we gotta we gotta we gotta identify the ability. Yeah. Yeah. Our tactics in the corner. And we gotta... Yeah. Walks along. Do you have anything you feel oh, like hard, like um, you got a longbow or something? <clears throat> I'm still... I wish. Can he fireball both you and me when you're there? I don't know. I don't I think, think so. Cause I'm still 40 feet away from... Okay, I'm 40 mm -hmm. feet away from you. So I don't think so. Question mark. Do you have Step of the Wind? Uh. I mean, the stamina I don't know. Also I, don't know. I don't know how much uh, uh, Monk has changed in this. So. I don't think there's it no has changed for, yet. There's no way for him no. to fireball you, both you and Kanako. Stamina run is still, if you want to, more movement. Up to you, dog. Hmm. I mean, going in melee range of him probably get me a fireball to his spell. We have to um, be careful about him going through the windows there. So many windows, yeah. goddamn. <laughs> I don't think he's in, in a state of mind to go through the windows yet. He's I think not he's planning on escaping. He thinks yeah. he's that guy. Or at least uh, definitely not this early into the fight. He still thinks he thinks he has the upper hand. I would think. I feel like he's not going to try to escape. He's he's too all in. Mm, we don't know. We don't know just yet. I think he might ex try to escape if he thinks he's going to die. Uh, I keep forgetting like people. Everyone else wasn't there for what I learned. And it's just like yeah. don't you remember what he what he did? But oh <laughs> you haven't told us what happened. I know, yeah. but it's just like That's one key point. The movement. And uh Hopefully I want to regret this. Yacht! That's will hit, it. will not crit. Oh. Damn. Actually, what's your bonus? Hang on. I forgot yours says nat, not... Let's see. Uh, seven plus, plus, plus ten. Six. Basically. It's nine, so that will hit... Um... Hmm. Mm. Hey, gonna... gonna shield it. Oh, it's an actual shield. Shield would not save that. It might, shield might save the crit. Confirm it might save the crit. It would change, it would, yeah, that's what I'm thinking right now. It's also an extra D6 of damage. From Go on. Go mm. on. Use a reaction. 
That's why I was trying to beat him with the extra d6 of damage. Don't forget. That's what, 28 damage? <laughs> it, it's an extra d6 that's double because he's vulnerable. Guys, I'm right here. <laughs> if you're talking about baiting him, I'm right here. I can hear you. Yeah. I mean, yeah. uh, you have either you have two options, and like I think we benefit either way. Yeah. Either he takes the damage or we waste his resources. We can tell you what we're doing. 26. We ain't hiding. It's up to you. We ain't hiding hide nothing. Is <laughs> It's up to you to decide what his cunning would do. What do you What do you want his gravestone? Is what we're trying to say. <laughs> right and died like a bitch, regardless. That's what I'm saying. Twenty eight. That. Uh, I need to do math. I'm bad at math. No, that way. Oh, I'm saying all this, and I I, I am literally hard things. countered. Uh. No, he'll take it. He so you. Extra, extra 2d6? Uh... Yep, 2d6. 2d6, okay, yep. yeah. Alright. <laughs> Let's see that 12. It's gonna deal that 12, 12 damage. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Uh, all right. <laughs> <Damn. laughs> uh, as you strike him, I need a con save from Kanko. As, as you strike him like that, spores burst out of him. Once again. Okay, so the radiant damage doesn't do anything to prevent it. I'll succeed. Mm. Okay, cool. Okay. Thank you. Mm. And slap. I'll also hit. Roll the radiant damage along with that. Wait. What type of damage was Son of ours? That's slashing too? It was also slashing, yes. <sighs> is it because it's cutting them open? Yeah. We need to know it, but like, uh... do I need to make a con save again, or you do not? Hmm. Yeah, that's once what I thought. round. It might just be once per turn that that goes off. Yeah, or once per turn rather. Okay, okay. There might be a way to bait that, maybe, perhaps. It might hmm. just be the first the time he's attacked. Could be. Yeah. More information to see, did? Yeah, it might have just been like. No, no. Oh, wait. Next to him, money. Silly me, I can't it. sick this hair. I bonus action. Ah, he will. He'll back up that 10. Yeah. Oh, so. Okay. <laughs> no, yeah, because he ha had. Yeah, I had the bonus action there. I mean, I... yeah. Yeah, that'll be my turn. Alright. Lorana. Uh, this is an interesting predicament, because... Uh, I can't move too much, and I feel like... Because then I'd be baiting on a fucking fireball. But... I mean, I feel safe here because he'd have to fireball himself. But at Don't the same think he time, won't. He might fucking leave. <laughs> I mean, I mean, he might. If he wants to, he's more than fucking welcome, I guess. Is he? That he's makes our job he's... easier. Uh, he can't can... miss the stuff and fireball, so he'd have to take the A up. Can I make a tactics check to determine what kind of wizard he is? Yeah. Uh, Arcana, actually. Mm hmm 11. That is insufficient. Alright. Mm. I was gonna say, because if he's evocation, I don't remember when you get sculpt spells, so... That's, uh, third yeah, level. Was, that's second level. I don't think level. he's evocation. It's second level that you get sculpt. Okay, not, okay. not, like, saying he has or anything, just... I just know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, can I hit him with a ranged attack from where I'm standing? Oh, it is a little second level. I, level six. You would have the pillar in the way you would need to move to, like, the tile next to it or something like that. Okay. Uh... Fuck. Uh, I might... <laughs> this is gonna be me fucking debating what I'd do for like 10 minutes and then realize I'm just gonna hit a cantrip and then end turn. Anyway, fireball. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
<laughs> right, that'll 27 hit. for 9. That's oh, two 19s, man. Uh, so I move 5 feet. Alright, have to be like 10 feet. So that'll be half my movement to get there. Uh, I still have Misty Step as an option if I need it, but I don't want to Misty Step anywhere. Um. Man, this game sucks. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit there. All right. Ladeka. Let's see. Still an arcana on something. All right. Giat, what do we want to learn? We know arm of blight. Uh, we have a good idea on. Let's learn the specifics of blighted blisters. I'm curious how that works. All right. As this enemy reaches yeah. HP thresholds, the blisters on them burst. Uh, enemies within oh. 10 feet must make a Constitution saving throw against 1d4 stacks of blight. What's the HP threshold? You did not roll high enough to identify that. Damn, on a 20? Holy! Okay. Um, I'm about to do the same thing. Debate for 10 minutes and then realize I'm just going to hit a cantrip. <laughs> <laughs> See, the thing is, with Hold Person, I'm realizing that I have two levels to go through. One, he needs to actually save in the first place mm -hmm. before he can even waste legendary resistance so it might not even be worth mm -hmm. old personing him over and over and he has shield he's also an elf so you can't put him to sleep uh, i don't have sleep anyway um how does suggestion work in combat <laughs> i don't think it does i'm, I'm just i'm curious let's I see i don't think it does because uh he's hostile i think there's something about it might be just disadvantage. It or, probably you know, would have an, he'd advantage. Also have advantage because he would have an advantage. Oh, he would. I hate, I hate elves, dude. I hate elves so much. Or Xanvar. <laughs> <laughs> I said what I said. Um, does anyone have any saves they plan on inflicting on him? Because I could just mind yes. sliver. Yes. All right. Wait, is mind sliver champ? He has a. He has a high intelligence. Dude, what do you want me to do? <laughs> what do you want? What do you want me to do? I, there's a lot. I I am. I don't know. I'm C. Uh, I'm so just, focused just, on CC, and he is anti CC. I I'm can't just, pull I'm off. just telling you the reality of this boss fight, man. Yes, I, I know. I didn't I say, say I didn't say I'm useful here. I said that I I have things I can do. I'd say just try the whole person. Just over cast, you know. Upper up casting okay. isn't going to work. Isn't going to work any. It doesn't. It doesn't raise the DC. Yeah. And I, what else am I even going to use my second level spell slots on anyway? So. Yeah. Yeah. I. This is going to be a real spell slot, and this the DC is still 16 because funny. Uh, funny and power casting. I'm going to try to hold person him again. All right. DC 16. Hey fair. He does fail. Legendary, legendary resistance. Someone mm -hmm. find out how many times he can do that before I continue. You better not have three uses. It would be too much, I think, for Probably. six level guy. We'll see. Yeah, would we know that yet or no? We don't know that yet. Yeah, I, I didn't it. look for it. Okay. Um, I'll continue maneuvering Ooh. behind around this pillar. Mm -hmm. Um. I will also bonus action. I will bonus action uh, spend three sorcery points to give myself a second level slot back. Mm -hmm. All right. Anything else? Nope. All right. Zanvar, you are restrained by the vines currently. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> can it break out? <laughs> uh, yep, you can make a athletic check to attempt to break out. I tried it. Uh, yeah, let's try that first before I do any other checks. Mm -hmm. That's big number. Alright. Vines continue to attempt to keep you held. And you break out of them. They're That's no longer restrained. Number. 
We can... Oh, thank God. That's, that's my fighter. That's my fighter right there. <sighs> Alright, go yep. kick his ass. Luckily, I took that uh, expertise in athletics, so... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No. Expertise be good. Me. Yeah, I think I'll have to use my uh, run stamina. Mm -hmm. I was so confused there because there's a piece of dust on my monitor that made that look like 1d 20 25. plus 14. It's not as funny. My map tools was saying it was 7 plus 11. I was like, what? Huh? Oh, I'll make it right there. <laughs> <laughs> if I can easily jump over those with my athletics. Mm. Yeah, he could. Okay, doc. And then my echo will also. Hello. <laughs> okay, doc. Ready for some blight because I'm going to attack. <laughs> of course. Um. Was freeing oh. from the restraint in action or? Oh right. It was well, an action got... to break out. I still have a, a free attack from my echo, though. Is that when you make an attack? No, that's uh, basically a uh, free action. I think. Can Whenever you take them? the attack action, you make one additional ah, right. Yeah. right, right. I'll make a, instead a... Uh... Good action surge, unless you have something right, else. Did. No, you already did. Oh, oh for healing. The... Oh, use techniques, yeah. Though. Darn. Well, you want to learn? Did you find out how many what? legendary resistance he has? Unless you want to find out something else. Spell focus. Uh, you know, the spell casting focus, basically, but if you mm -hmm. want, I can go for a legendary resistance instead. No, I'd say the resistance is... I'd say resistance because I feel like destroying his focus would be a called shot. And, and we already know he can't do call shots. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, disarmed more. Also, than, you know, I, I have a like... feeling... I have a feeling his focus might be his arm now. Potentially. Okay. Let yeah, gold star for that one. <laughs> Welcome to the gold star club. <laughs> yeah, I'll just use legendary resistance then. Oh, you used it? Nice. Alright, uh, legendary yeah, resistance, he has two of them. I used one two. already. Okay. Um, it's doable, but... I, mean, is it worthwhile? I might be is able to burn his know. other one. I don't have negative two sorcery points. Something horrible happened. Hold on. I should have. You haven't used what? any yet. <laughs> it is. I did. I used uh. I used three sorcery points to give myself a second level slot back. Oh. I might have miscalculated. I might have pressed a button, a wrong button or something. My echo is going to. I use my bonus action to teleport my echo over here. Okay, no. Basically, I re-manifest it just over there. <laughs> hmm. Right, that's all. Uh, yes. Cool, 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 cool. That's something that can get better. Yeah, that'll work. Y'all know what to do. Wait, what that's the last. Issue? Wait, actually, no, do that. Do that. Come on. Yeah, Come go on. for it. Oh, yeah. yeah Fireball doesn't affect ob objects, so my echo stays up. <laughs> does it not get destroyed by. If or... it doesn't say objects, it doesn't. If it only says creatures, then. <laughs> I think this is rules that... as intended versus rules as written. I. I was going to say that these windows also get blasted out by the fireball. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't think it works as that because it's not really physics per se, but more magic wise. But yeah. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it doesn't work but as the rules say. Five feet. Wow. I I I'm hate rules down anyway. anyway. <laughs> so. <laughs> that's up. That's up to you. I mean, I do have it's opinions on five e on five e writing. I I also have strong opinions. <laughs> I have very I have very strong opinions on hey, You're ultimately the DM and it's your will. Yeah, let me Wait, what? Oh wait. At the end of the day, do you think this thing being blasted by a giant fucking explosion would kill it? Yeah. Yes. I, 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 
I, I, I would. I'm, I'm gonna say the fireball does affect it. Wait, what? What is. Can I go heal? Uh, did you click the wrong button? Yeah, I clicked the wrong button. Oh no. Oh god. Should be at zero. Nice and simple. Alright, cool. So that's that. Guess who doesn't have any third level slots? I can't believe I misclicked Pius. <laughs> I was like, oh, I misclicked healing. <laughs> now, his, now his scariest spell is Scorching Ray. What was the DC? Uh, no, his scariest spell The DC dope. is uh, 16. But it's so still... Can I, it, it I mean, still hits it's only one. his scariest spell if he has Devil's Sight. Oh, can I, can I, it, it, guess what he probably has. <laughs> we would know that, wouldn't we? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he doesn't have... Because uh... we we know his feats, so if he doesn't mm -hmm. have, like, Warlock, Adept, or whatever it is, then he can't Eldritch. see his own darkness. Whatever. It's Eldritch something, I think. Yeah. Eldritch Invocation. Yeah, if he, we know he doesn't have Eldritch Invocation, so he oh, doesn't yeah. have Devil Sight. So he can cast Darkness and be annoying, but he won't benefit from it. Mm -hmm. I mean, the annoying part about that is not being able to heal people who are in it. Also, oh, is he moving? All I'm fucking saying is, uh... He's thinking. Okay. <laughs> he didn't cast Hypnotic Pattern and wasted all of his fucking slots on Firebolt instead, the idiot. I will, I will, I would ah. also like to point out there is a fire at his feet. That's true. I do remember that, um... Motherfucker, gonna try to run out. <laughs> I don't think he's at running stage yet. He steps here, provoking an attack of opportunity from Zanvar. I'll shoulder attack. Uh, you, you sure you want to do that? I don't know. If you, if you, he's trying to bait you into attacking so he can proc his blight spores so he can stack more blight on a hat. On he's a also going though. going to do that so he can um, fire. Fire bolts on that normal instead of at disadvantage. He has Warcaster, he didn't need to step away from that for, I believe. Or is it still at disadvantage even with Warcaster? Oh, I misremembered Warcaster. It would still be well, at disadvantage. It, it doesn't do anything about your um, rate. Yeah, if I was misremembering that. Just, you can cast a spell. It's advantage on con saves and concentration checks, and um, yeah. you get to cast a spell as a attack of opportunity. Mm. That's if it's melee. Alright, do you take oh. they up? I guess no. Alright. So that was fine. 15. He will cast Chill Touch on Elrana. Damn, that's cool. Uh, I don't care, however. Alright. He's happy with that. Well, that was his bonus action. We'll finish his movement here. There we go. Okay. Right, Seki. We just... It's 30 foot radius for Fireball, right? Or wait, no, it doesn't matter. He's he's out of third level spells. Yeah. Go Look, get his ass. I, I can just... I'll Sick just go here. Well. Um, I will say that, um... If you... If whatever you do, if you hold Axon to do it, then I can get out of the range of light. Oh, no, no, I'm not damaging him. Oh, if you're not damaging him, that, that's perfectly fine. How about What's something I'm pretty new? Sure only melee attacks. And then anyway. you just, uh... Well, you um, know, it's a dam damage threshold that they go off mm. on. I'm gonna I'm a target him... ...this. But, uh... Okay. Alright. Levitate. That is a con save on him. 
Mm-hmm. Alright. Same throw. Constitution. Sixteen. You'll succeed. Sheesh, Gigacon. Damn. Interesting. That what? feels what like that? it's higher than it should be. Hang on. That is... It still passes. Something. It still passes, but... Okay, yeah, no, that's right. Damn. Alright. Okay. Uh... It's a plus six. Con was a... Pretty sure that does not use my spell slot, though, because it is a curse spell. Okie doke. Uh, yes, Levitate does not get use my uh, spell slot for that, mm. which is good, because second level spells. All right. Uh, oh, fuck it. Tactics. Figure shit out. That is insufficient. Damn. Um, that was an action. I cannot bonus action healing word. Uh, I don't have any other bonus actions. I think that's my turn. Okay, no. Yep. Well, that was disappointing. I was hoping to get more off out of that, but whatever. Son. Um... That's the second 20 on attack to six. Indeed, <laughs> what, what would you like to know? If only I had just cast a guiding bolt now instead of doing <laughs> that. Oh my god, I do a trillion damage. Um, What else is there to left to learn? Grasping Blight. See how it's what? different, perhaps? And the yeah. blind mechanics in, it, in itself. Sure. How to get rid of it. Oh, yeah, can oh, yeah. I How's the different in, in terms of blight? Yeah. Yeah, can I learn that? The blight mechanics? Uh, with a 20, you can get both of those. Okay, I'll get both of those. So, uh, for Grasping Blight, there's the full description of it. And uh, in terms of getting rid of blight, you have oh. to, as the blight pretty much infects you, as you move up the tiers, you have to do medicine checks by removing the blight physically, by cutting open the body and removing the blight. Uh, oh. this, this is a tier 3 blight enemy. Um, but it's so not oh. radiant, just using radiant damage on it, but do the same. It would have to be exposed to rain damage, and if, pretty much, if you use the rain damage to destroy the blight in someone, it would also hit them with the radiant damage as well. Yeah, but okay. I'm just saying that they could, after this fight is over, can um, cleanse us with Word of Radiance. It's basically where I was going with that in my head. Oh, Probably me... in conjunction with a medicine check. It would be in conjunction with a medicine check. That's correct. Yeah. Could you just like guiding bolt us and cleanse the blight that way? Uh, I, I, <laughs> I oh I quit the guiding the guiding bolt by world of one and the medicine. Sorry guys. I mean that is the most effective way of getting rid of blight is kill the blight infected. Perch it. Um. No, you got Ruven the blight. Just pick him back up. Tier three blight enemy though. Good. So, I should be free to move, right? Because he won't be... He does, have, he any does have lingering, so... The first so thing's first. Um, this, is on this is on Kanaku. How far uh, does... That's so. It's a pretty good heal. Mm, it, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. And then, so that's her bonus action. See, well, action dodge. <laughs> Probably want to move away from him. <laughs> and. <laughs> yeah. Cover. 
All right. He'll make an attack with his blade arm as you move out of his range. His reaction. Oh. oh, yeah, he has reach. He'll hit with disadvantage for 12 piercing damage and two, Wait, two stacks on. of light. light. It was... Wait, what is the sun's AC? 16. Oh. Hold on, where were you? throw a guardian on that? I, I, yeah. I was not within 30 feet of you. I was Damn. right here. I was 40 feet away. Damn. Um, yeah. Too far away. Um, so... Oh. Oh, if That's he had moved upwards... Us separating, us separating for fireball. Like, if he had moved upwards, you probably could have... <laughs> out of guardian range. I, I, I already committed my movement, though. Yeah. There's no way to have predicted that. It's fine. I mean, we did. Uh, yeah, we did. we did know it. To be, I'm fair. not gonna cap. I did not pay attention. I didn't realize he had he had reach. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't hear it that. Does. Yeah. His arm has like ten reach. It's ten foot reach. So that was twelve piercing. Indeed. You know what sucks? Is if I was level four, I would have had resistance to that damage. <laughs> um. So and so, I have two blight on me, right? Indeed, two stacks yeah. of blight. Sure, and note that down. Where is that? Here, here, or here? I don't remember. Yeah, there. Yeah. There. He's going basically to his spot that he thinks he has the most cover from if he tries to um, scorch you, mm -hmm. make her. Mm hmm. All right. Can I go? Uh... Oh, boy, I have to get up again. <laughs> <laughs> At least I don't have to dash for this one. <laughs> you might make it with only a run, stamina run, if possible, but I'm not sure how. I'm, I'm pretty sure. You can make it without. Yeah, it's Monk. Yeah. Monk, monk do right. unarmed yeah. movement. Yeah. Ah, right, right, right. Yeah. Monk mm -hmm. go zoom. Zoom, zoom. I'll not hit. No. Kung Fu time? But you could use yeah. a Destin. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <you're not. laughs> Our asses ain't using Destiny here. <laughs> not yet. Yeah. <laughs> fucking. Cap. Caparino. Trent. Oh, yeah. I'll fucking use my Destiny on fucking harvesting fucking plants out in the wilds, but against a boss? Nah, man. That's too much. Hey man, I used it on. I mean, research. Destiny. Destiny is infinitely scary, infinitely more scarier cool in an actual session. Destiny means nothing yeah. out in the world. It means zero. It means uh, zero things. That was Larry of Lies, though. Well. Uh, mm -hmm. Like I specifically used mine on stuff related to this. So mm -hmm. yeah, that'd be two d six to eighteen if that quick confirmed. That does quick confirm. <laughs> Jeez. Nice. Yes, yes. Beat him to death. <laughs> Eleven, six. Damn. Twenty one. Awesome. Twenty three, and then he takes twenty four. Uh, 24. Uh, con save. Yeah. How many con saves is there? Three, it's two? A, we have we Ow. got healers. Uh, we got one. healers. It's okay. Um, do you want to use the destiny on that? That would be two light no. stacks. Not the destiny, but the um inspiration on that. How or do, many? That would be five blight. If I put you to five. What that? When what I happens? checked the blight mechanics, did I learn anything about any thresholds that we should avoid? Uh. You did not. You were specifically asking about how to cure it. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, right, I have tactics. <laughs> well. I guess, yeah. Alright, that is sufficient. What would you like to learn? Ask about the, the thresholds. <laughs> yeah. I want to ask about the blight thresholds that she's eating. You start getting worried at 10 and pass there. Start worrying. 
Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're still we're not quite right. right there yet. Unless sounds we like to, not, no sounds idea. like not good at ten, very bad at like fifteen and twenty. I can't believe he has it. The ability that that squares your light. You have twenty five now. Oh. <laughs> That's yeah, a pretty he, interesting ability. He doubles your blight. Double and give it to the next person. <laughs> Every tactic trick so you get to get one blight. Oh yeah. god. Mm. Yeah. Right, anything yeah, else? Punish the player for learning about the boss. Uh, yeah, that's... Everything. So, yeah, that it reminds me of the boss that yeah. you got weaker the more you learned of it. Orana? Oh, mm. Man. Oh, one second level slot left, but I'm holding that in case I need a misty step. Uh, I have my own funny little rock that I could use as well. I yeah, I've still effectively got like five first level slots uh, mm -hmm. currently. Uh, do we want to bait shield? Um, uh, I kind of want to use magic missile as an execute, maybe. To be mm. honest. Like one of us baits magic missile and the, the problem. The open. problem with that is that um, they can always just seal and seal last until its next turn. Oh so yeah, that's, that's it. right. We yeah. can't even do that. I forgot. Shield uh, lasts a long fucking yeah. time. Yeah, mm. it does. <clears throat> if that's the case, that. I'm going to I'm gonna burn a spell slot uh, to fucking mm. give myself another thing. Mm -hmm. I'm just I'm just casting shield to get rid of the spell slot, there. and give myself one point, mm -hmm. tasty point, and then uh, that's my bonus action. Action! I'm gonna firebolt. Believe it or not, I'm shocked. Ooh, nice! Oh, nice! Yeah, that'll hit for ten. Um... You're rolling hot with those. Bro. Sheesh! Yeah. Get behind cover again. Uh, mm. and tactics. Alright. Oh, I got a bit injured there. 15. Uh, you have identified everything that 15 will, so that is insufficient. Alright. That's my turn then. Lodeca. Um, I'm just gonna tactics, just throw that into the void. Mm -hmm. Firstly of all. Insufficient. We could Epic. make checks to see how it would act, like inside checks. Well, if he's getting it. desperate or looking to escape, that kind of stuff. That is something you can get with that. Yeah, What's you he, could. What is he thinking about? He he thinking it might be time to turn tail and run. No, is but he he's got a different plan. Oh. What does he mean by that? Find out. Phase two. Oh no. God, he heals all his. HP back. Oh, if um, you're worried about him healing. Um, that? Smile. Honestly, that's not a bad idea. Mm. <laughs> range? Chill touch? Hey, you might get a little bit bigger, huh? Maybe. Yeah, uh, hold person like, is not yeah. really. I feel like weird. it resists necrotic. Just putting it out. Well, even if he resists it, it would still have the effect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not, not to deny the 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 greatness of chill touch, obviously. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot him in the forehead, bro. Two. It shot. Two whole damage. Oh, he doesn't want it, so. I, okay, might... <laughs> I mean, sure, it loses a spell slot. Means he's gonna fucking heal. Yeah. Oh wait, you're right. He used... <laughs> Inspiration for that? No, um, he, I don't think that's already. worth it. Like, what's his AC? Seven? What's well, the only AC? okay. Here's my question: If I, if I use my inspiration, can I use the advantage roll, or do I have to completely re-roll again? You would have to use a new roll because you cannot right. know what the new roll is before choosing. That's fair. Can you use two? Doing it. Can you use? Oh, well, Sun has her inspiration too. So we still you uh, have two inspirations. Is I it, think it's I worth it. It might be worth it, but okay, what we don't know what his AC is. Sixteen exactly. or seventeen, I think. Sixteen, mm -hmm. so I'd have to roll a. Tw so I had to hit twenty-one. 
I have to roll pretty high. I don't like my odds, but... You have to, you have to hit a 14. I have to hit a 14. I don't you like my tight. odds. 14, 15. And we have another inspiration, so... Sure. I'm. What am I saving this for? 6e? I'll re-roll. <laughs> so let's see. This was a base of 10. D20 plus 10. Or plus 7, I mean. Can you just, can you just click it again? Yeah, I guess I could. What am I doing? I'm thinking too hard. Is what I'm doing. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> 14! Look at that! Would you look at that? What's his AC? 6 and 17. If it's 17, it's because it hurts so badly. But if it's 16... Oh, it gives us a lot of information regardless of whether or not this hits. Yeah. yeah. That... Does not hit. Oh, it's probably 17, 17 or 18. <laughs> Pain. Yeah. All right. Well, steps behind the pillar again. No, just, just That's go it. in. Destiny. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, True. is it two points of is it two points of destiny, or is it just any destiny used? You get a villain point. It's every two used. Does destiny give shit? No, just we've obviously he just used a villain point. So. So how many, how many destiny points are you at right now, or do we know? I don't know if we can know that. Two were gen two were used in this, uh, in this campaign. Yeah, two uh, have been used in the campaign. I'm not sure what the Eldiria as a whole is at. Shrugged. It's destiny. up to you guys, because he just used two. So if I use one, we should still be safe, assuming he doesn't pull you, from the world. I, th I say, I say, use one, because I. I think. Fuck yeah. This guy's plan. Yeah. Fuck this guy. Uh, kill yourself. I'm using a destiny. It's a reroll plus. It's a reroll plus. It's it's a well, plus one d six. It's a one d six on yeah. top of it. That would make it, yeah. No hit. Um, I mean, I can I can roll the one d six. Oh, it just hits. It just hits. Oh, does does it just hit? I mean, roll the one d six. Sounds like it does it's hit. <laughs> okay, seventeen. I think. Or it could, it's, could it maybe 18? Could it? Could also be 18. Yeah, it could be 18 with a uh, 2. Yeah. <laughs> well, be. he doesn't heal. Alright. Oh, Major Arm is, what, 3 plus, plus 13 plus. Uh, it sets the base to 13. 13 plus your dex mod. Mm. Unless he has something else affecting it. Or he could just have high dex. Yeah, is he, he knows. A lead dancer? Hmm. Okay, so he's resistant <laughs> to a necrotic. We already knew that, or we could assume that. But he can't mm. heal, which is the big thing. Mm hmm. You silly. Don't imagine know if he's gonna heal. Imagine if he tested this just to be a destiny point. <laughs> that was the only cool point of That would honestly, I would be very impressed by that because I wouldn't have seen that coming. Wait, hey, me using a shield point. just to make you guys think that he's going to heal? <laughs> How could I ever that, do that? I, I mean, I don't know. Enough to do that. <laughs> well, that's my that's my turn. That would be uh, pretty wild if that was what was, was what was going to happen. We knew he was doing something other than running. Yeah. The fact that he used a shield on a chill touch. Yeah. Uh, bonus action. Mm. Um, yeah, let's... They like that. Um, though... Yeah, booming blade attack first of all is action. Well, let's go with a good old tactics first to see what mm -hmm. he's planning to do. Or not. Uh, is it a minus five? That was your echo that you had. You hold your echo. Oh, yeah. then. Man, your echo is stupid. Let uh, me go roll it otherwise again. This can we see the bonus maybe? Mm. Plus. Everything. Would not be sufficient. So yeah. Okay, well, just normal attack with clay more than and the booming blade, I guess. And okay. Am I going to trip him or should, should it just menacing attack? Well, he has a additional AC right now. Oh right. Yes, indeed. Well, I still have to attack him. I could precision attack him. Precision Depending. might be more worth it just so you have damage going through. Yeah. Yeah. Depending what on what I roll, I might use precision. That's what I'm saying. Oh, fair yeah. enough. Bash first. Mm -hmm. I can't real. I can roll it after the roll is seen, so I don't. I can roll it afterwards too. <laughs> yeah, that, I think that's a hit out without mm -hmm. yeah, precision. Yeah, hey, yes. Thirty-six. Uh, just uh, all just, these almost uh, crits. 
Like it's just menacing, I guess. <laughs> he has plus five wisdom, I believe. So that's a two from Bash, eleven from Slash, and three from Extra. Oh, and another six from. Mm, yep. Uh, uh, can't save. Can't save. We're gonna have to take Kanako to a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> the, the doctor, the doctor is blind stacks. constantly yeah. casting Ward of Radiance over and over oh again. Oh god, seven. It's seven. Okay. We're not in, we're not in scary territory yet. Like it's, it's getting close. You just need to kill him fast enough. How does the menacing work for him? He you might attack me with his arm and give me more or not. <laughs> it doesn't. I guess I'll make another attack, a uh, free action attack as Unleash or Incarnation, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, let me oh go boy. click it again, because apparently, yes, there. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I could use, pre uh, yeah, I use precision attack. Right. Uh, yeah. Or not. <laughs> That's not it. <laughs> I don't think it would have been able to Oh, oh yeah, that. right, it wouldn't have worked anyway, because of... I, I mean, yeah, it could have. Yeah. No, 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 you it's would have only to a roll max, I think. It's only a deep wet. It will still have been a. Oh, never mind. No, never mind Wait. then. Never yeah. mind then. Is it like a one d eight? Not at the moment. Yeah, that was That's a right. mistake. I, I, I keep forgetting that. <laughs> yeah, that was a mistake on my part. Right. Your bonus action is used. Uh, your movements used. That is your action. Yeah, and his boom, booming blade, I guess. That's my turn. Gotcha. My mind was like, this is one day. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, later, later, later. Yeah. We'll step here. Yeah, I make a sentinel attack. Mm -hmm. From oh, my booming blade. He also oh. takes uh, two booming blade damage from that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, f I guess from an echo location. Right. Yeah, no, <laughs> I'm not going to make a position attack. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh. Wait, hold on. If the attack had hit, he wouldn't have been able to move. Thus, the booming blade wouldn't have gone off, right? That is technically correct. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No right. order of operations, but it's fine. He will sort of... He'll keep walking. Actually. Oh. We'll step here now. Provoke him from Kanko. Uh, yeah. Don't. Oh, correction, that Claymore does actually hit, because oh. shields Oh, okay, yeah, shield ends off. Uh, no, nah, but he, he will we... reaction shield to that. Oh, because Wait. it's his turn. Yeah, <laughs> he, he, he got his reaction Scoot. back and then cast the uh, shield again. Scoot, he used his reaction. Oh, wait, it's still up. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I'm going yeah. to trip him. Oh well, no, 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 shield works. no! He so shielded would... your. Cl that would have hit, but oh. then he chose to shield again. So. I, keep, oh, I she... keep rubbing my palms and yeah. licking my lips together like shield lasts for a turn and not a round. <laughs> so uh, he's provoking from Kanako. Oh think he. He's got a giga high AC right now. Maybe yeah, I don't think high. If, he, if his plan was to let you, um, to spore you, he wouldn't have sealed it. Oh. So I think it's safe to hit him. He's also at 7. Yeah, he sees uh, 21. Yeah, it's up, I, I think, think it's up to you. It's up I to think... you. Oh, yeah, I was gonna that's... say, I would call his bluff. Yep, but... they'll, they'll hit, but won't crit. That's fine. That does get the D6. Damage on the board, though. All right, so that's ten plus the D six. Bro, glorious weapon is cracked. Like, what is this? it? Really is. <laughs> <laughs> this is insane. I, I think it's done like seventy damage or something stupid like that. This fight. All right. Con saves. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I knew it. Yep. <laughs> no. Uh, this sucks, man. <laughs> I'm good. Let's hope I don't get. Uh, yeah. Four stacks uh, of blight. You can use my react, my inspiration if you want to. What do Please we know? What the DC is? Do it. Uh, it's the DC is 16. 16. The DC is 16. I had 14 definitely. 
I I think we use it just so you, <laughs> you need we, this. Yeah, I think you need this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, use it, but it's not like he's doomed just yet. It's just, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> No. That's his four. Oh. Hey, you can't, you can't even save that with destiny. No. Yeah, that's eleven blight sticks. Woo. Alrighty. Um, well, I mean, we gave it a good try. As you yeah. hit ten blight sticks, you can see underneath your arm, black vines surf underneath as the blight takes root within you. Boy. So far, so good. All right. Cool. Uh, cool. cool. That, was, that was just my movement. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Oh, <laughs> uh, boy. And your reaction, and your reaction. True, true. My reaction okay. made it better than it could have been. Uh, <laughs> it would have worked either way. I just didn't want to take the Sentinel. Alright, let's see, let's see. That's done. Hell yeah. Alright, uh... People sort of look towards Seki. Specifically. Oh... And he will sort of, sort of remove his cloak. You can see that while his arm is majorly blighted, there is a set of like runes around like pretty much where his arm connects to his torso, where his other arm connects to his torso, around sort of his collarbone. And he will sort of say, said earlier that I was controlling it and it wasn't, con or no, earlier you said that if I was sure if it was controlling me or if I was controlling myself, whatever you said, this is what it looks like when it controls me. And he will destroy the rune around his arms as the blight will quickly spread across what? his body. What have you done? Let me show you. And I was a fool to <laughs> even suggest my sister speak with you. Your sister did what? <laughs> <laughs> and <gasps> old man, <laughs> what did she do? She did what? Sure, <laughs> <laughs> he and, and his form <laughs> will sort of become covered with blight as he takes oh, on boy. a blighted form. Giving him two new oh, abilities, no. the Horde uh, Vines, and the Bursting Blight. He's gotta oh explode. no, that second one. Yeah, so... Uh, I'm guessing he's not, a, he's not a person anymore, I would assume. He is no longer humanoid, yes, that is correct. One day, <laughs> one day I'll well, be able to use my build. <laughs> that makes your choice easier, though. Yeah, this will be my choice easier. And he will uh, use the Horde Vines and... Uh, make a blighted arm attack against Kanko, against Zanvar, and against the Echo. Oh, okay. So, first one was against Kanko, second one's against Zanvar, third one's oh, against the yeah. Echo. Against me, against the Echo, you mean? The third one? The third one's the Echo, Boy. The second one's you, and first one is Kanko. Okay. Is well, my... I'm getting all the blight. My echo is gone. <laughs> God damn it. Also, this Echo's doesn't have a con save. Right now. This doesn't have a con save associated with its smile. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Alright. Alright, good shield. Oh, this is in rage. Oh, so, cool. uh. Yup. No, no, give can... me all this blight. I can't shield. Because I have used the you use your reaction, reaction to attack of opportunity. Right. Reaction, yep. yep. So I take uh, it. <laughs> it was, this was a good turn. Oh, yeah. I'm happy with myself. Okay, we may have, have we have made a misplay here. This is the only time I'll admit it. This round, why did this turn might have been a misplay? But it's okay, because uh, his ass is dead. I swear it. Oh. He's still affected by shield, by the way. Yeah. Yes. Uh huh. How many? Oh, I, I think he's almost out of. The finish his movement like here. Two or one and first level slot left. I just uh. 
I think he's used them all on shield. I like that. Hmm. Missy step. Huh. Ah. That's his second, uh, second level. So he's one second level up. All right, all right. Not bad, not bad. So that'll be his action, bonus action. That'll be him. Assuming he doesn't. All right. Uh, fuck it. The fuck is that new ability? The the explodey one. The bursting blight. Yes. The bursting blight. A chunk of blight is launched off of Lucius. Two ranged attacks are made. One d twenty plus five for one d eight plus three. Regardless of these attacks hit or miss, all enemies within 10 feet uh, need to make a constitution saving throw, a DC 18 against breathing in the blight spores. Oh. <laughs> Question. Yes. What if bef what if on our turn we say we hold our breath? You can only do that so many turns in a row. That's fine. <laughs> I'm just asking if I can. You won't be able to cast any spell with a verbal component. I got subtle you casting. You also lose your verbal campaign. You know what? You, you can know what? Try. Fuck it. Fairy fire. All right. I'll make deck save. Oh. We'll succeed. Damn. All right. I'm gonna move here. Uh. I don't got a lot of freaking uh, bonus action stuff. Uh, that is my turn. Yeah, turn? that's yep. my turn. Okay. Hmm. I could do the funny. Ah, also, as a note, this is no longer a tier 3 Blight enemy. This is now a tier 4 Blight enemy. Oh, he has shield oh. still up. His yeah, AC shield's is still, still high. Up. That's okay, like 22 so no, or something. Do you have a guaranteed funny, perhaps? Um, uh, Not at the strange, no. Mm. 100% funny. <laughs> Maximum. I'm not sure. Do you have a low stakes range attack, maybe, to just throw out into the void to potentially do damage? The to only uh, attack cantrip that the sun has is um, Thorn Whip. Damn. All right. Just... Oh, see, oh, see, I was also has Ward Rains, but that's not going to do anything. Just guiding bolt crit, you know? <laughs> I. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know if I don't know if it's worth it. I mean, there's a chance it could crit, but... Sun only has 16 charisma. It's not a very high likely. It doesn't so have a good mod. 22. Uh, do you need 21 to hit? Wait, what's his AC? 22, 23, I think. 22. 22 or 2. 23. 22, I think. Because 21 didn't hit, and plus 1. Yeah, 22 or 23. Yeah. One of those. Uh, so... Yeah. So if you recall, a 17 hit him, but he cast shield on that. Yeah. Um, let's see. I'm moving here just to get some distances. Oh, so I do a different bunny. Because he's make, making us make a lot of saving throws now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I would also recommend at the end of your turn to say you hold your breath. Uh, where's my button? Just in case he decides to do the funny. Because you can just, if I'm understanding this right, you can just move out of the radius and then breathe again. So, two, three, four are blessed. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Thank you. that's a good funny. Is it just those four in that corner? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Sun hates us, dog. I can't believe it. <laughs> Sun's slow. <laughs> he barely yeah. had enough movement to do what he just did there. <laughs> yeah, no, the, the unfortunate positioning, because despite despite having nice, very nice cover here, the unfortunate positioning means I can't be seen. Mm. Yeah, I helmet. couldn't, I couldn't see see you too and heal you. Although I think the plus might still been better anyways. Yeah, I would, no, yeah, I would rather. No, I am not complaining about this for the record. Oh, yeah, I, know. I was just pointing. I was just asking who had it. 
I'm Wait, spending like hatch? 20 years trying to find blessed. There you go. You have blood. Oh, okay. Uh... It's un it's uncasted at level 2. What does exploding blights do again? We basically don't want to be a fantastic with each other. Yeah. Uh, it's an attack roll. I think it's like 1d8 plus something on hit. But the scary thing is, if you're within 10 feet, you have to make a con save or get blighted. So... Okay. That's why I'm that's telling people. To, that's why I'm telling people to hold their breath, especially you and Kanako. Uh, is it ten feet of him or ten feet of the impact ten feet of, point? Ten feet of the impact. That is correct. Okay. And yeah, so I would highly recommend that you just hold your breath. You can hold your breath. Uh, for one plus your calm modifier. So literally, just say you do it and then step out of the radius. Um, does yeah. that affect concentration at all? Holding breath? I don't think so. It shouldn't. No, she'll hold her. Sun will hold her breath then. I didn't see anything like when I skimmed over uh, breathing rules that it affects concentration. Can you tell me where breathing rules are? I want to read. Uh, I'm not reading it on Syracuse, so they might be different. I'm just I just looked up five E breathing rules. Fair, fair. Uh, yeah, if you look, if you look it up. A uh, creature can hold its breath for a number of minutes. Oh, number of minutes equal to one plus its constitution modifier. Yeah. But a creature runs out of breath or is choking, blah, blah, blah. So it's actually minutes. So you can straight up just hold your breath and you're pretty much good. Yeah, Sun has a plus three mod to con. I thought it was, I thought it was okay. yep. increments of Sarah has similar. Okay. Number of minutes equal to one plus con mod minimum of 30 seconds. Yep. Yep. Well, that's Sun's turn. Um, we should try to figure out if we can still heal or something. Yeah. And go. Real talk, do you have anything you could throw at him? Because I don't really want you getting more blight. <laughs> I don't want you getting more blight either. You could... Try hiding over here, so Sun can start ward, ward of Radiance in you to try and as her action while she keeps other people healed. Can mm. Panika hold her breath before attacking? Like it's spores that fly Oh wait, why air. did we do that before? Ah, why didn't I think of this sooner? You guys could have held your breath to not breathe yeah. in the spores. <laughs> ah, I'm silly. We could have done it. Oh, yeah, yeah, we could have done it. <laughs> Takes a deep breath. And holds it. I'm just going to see if Guiding Bolt would have hit. It would not have hit. <laughs> <laughs> good RNG Minip, good RNG Minip. <laughs> that will not hit. <laughs> With my... uh, nope. Uh, uh. Right, Texas still. Yeah. Oh my god, this is. Just... So sorry about so that. Unfortunate. All righty. <laughs> it was not the turn. <laughs> nah, <laughs> it was not. Well, you can still hold your breath if you so wish. Uh, I already did that. Oh, awesome. Ah, perfect. Yeah. All right, that's all. Yeah, that's all. All around though. Uh, she'll reposition slightly so she's more like boy. Oh. Or rather, she'll poke out here. Fucking shoot this, miss. Mm -hmm. And get back under cover. Mm -hmm. uh... He's still shielded. Yeah. That's a... That's a... Very slight more movement. Right about there. And that'll be it. That's right. the turn. Cool, cool, cool. A Deca. All right. 
All right, just throw that out into the void, and then I chill touch. Okay. Oh, oh my god. It's a hit. You too. He's resistant, but it's okay. As long as he has no way to heal. I don't think he has any way of healing, but, you know. He has be... not given doesn't us... doesn't hurt to be safe. Before I reveal the result of this, is there anything you want to add to this? Anything I want to add to it? Before I reveal if this hits or not. Uh, no, I'd rather not, because we already used the Destiny. If it misses, it misses. It does not hit. Oh, his AC increased. His AC maybe went up, and he also oh, has shield active. Well, his AC should go down next turn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unless that's he shields fine. again. Shield again. Ladika moves, and she holds her breath epically. That's her turn. Right. Zambar. Well, <clears throat> I guess it just moves. Uh, I guess it just uses. Uh, what was it? Good old. Good old stamina, use of running. running. <laughs> Increased by 10 feet. Yep, that's basically 10 feet, <laughs> I mm -hmm. guess. Yeah, I I guess I could move like this too. You good. Either get here or here. Up to you. Ah, let's make it here. Then, his bonus action is going to call back his Fortis Echo. <laughs> Hello. Man, yeah, those do got it. I, there's, those are, um, they have, have no limit. I can get them as many as, as, many as I want. Oh. Mm, true. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then he's going to hold his breath and make a booming blade attack. And I guess he might just use, uh, what is it called? How much stamina do we have? A little bit more. Let's go bash a bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Damn. Oh. oh my. Uh, yeah, that... The attack rolls. Man, you really can summon this however many times you want. What was Matt Mercer thinking when he made this <laughs> subclass? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Yeah, I don't have anything to re-roll that, so I will have to use Unleash Incarnation to make another attack. Mm -hmm. And, uh, sure, go ahead and bash again. Only okay. for two this time. Yeah. Oh, that's... Uh, <laughs> There's I think no way that doesn't hit. Truly 26. a 26 hits. I mean, look at your chill touch, by the way. Oh, wait, you have Bless. Never mind. <laughs> Yeah, and I will use. Uh, should we go trip attack or med I think trip attack it might be. Yeah, I'll use trip attack. Oh, uh, right. it'll deal some extra damage anyway. Alright. And a d6. Oh, okay, alright, yeah. d6. Beautiful d6. Ooh, nice. We love double damage. And yeah, he'll make the. Oh. Make the strength saving throw. Yes. Post. Trip. Where, where are that? Trip. Trip. Will no. succeed. Oh, this strength I think went up. Went up, yeah. Um. Oh, I guess I'll make a tactics check to see what his plan is going forward. What? Yeah. Or not. <laughs> the plan is kill everyone. Maybe, yeah. Alright. His turn. Yeah. That would be the most effective method. Alright. He is going to use uh, Bursting Blight. Uh, the two targets are going to be Zavar and Kanako. So, these attacks are at disadvantage because they're range tags and melee range. So. Oh, damn it. Yep. First one against uh, Xanvar is going to be a eight, and that will be yes. that will be a con save from both of you. Actually, first I need a wisdom save from Kaneko. All right, wisdom save first. Yeah, yeah. first with okay. 
And now a constitution save from both of you. Bursting blade also when we're holding our breath? Uh, if you're holding your breath, I, uh, you succeed on... Uh, oh wait, you were both holding your breath. Right. Yeah, yeah, they're both holding their <laughs> breath. Gotcha. Alright, so it would have just been the wisdom save. Alright, second attack is going to... That one was just targeting Xanvar. Second one's going to be disadvantage targeting Ganko. Uh, that'll be another wisdom save from Kanko. Mm. Mm. Right. Oh, that might not be good. All right. No. You pretty much feel somewhere within your desires to just just breathe in a bit. Oh my god. <laughs> As, <laughs> as you fail to resist the desire to intake more toxins, and you gain three blight. It's 15, right? Awesome! 16. It's 16. 16. Oh, awesome! I think you might want to back off. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, cool. I think you get the hell out of here. So... Yeah, we can, the thing we can about it's uh, just you guys gotta stay out of fucking melee. I mean, Xenobar is uh, good. Xenobar's <laughs> fine. Kanako needs to leave. Thing is, Kanako probably won't. So... Oh, that's true. That's up to her. Yeah. I I ain't tell it. I'm. I ain't dictating you how to, how to do your turn. <laughs> I'll step here provoking you if you wish. Yeah, I know. <laughs> if you wish, he'll step here provoking from you. Can I cope? Don't um. do it. <laughs> he provokes. Uh, you take it. Yeah, do I take it, actually? Don't. Uh, Please. Please. But also, I can't stop you. It would be kind of funny. It would be funny if we got a second boss fight. Yeah. God. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> it would be very funny then, I will admit. <laughs> oh, he takes a d6 from booming plates. Oh. A d8, I mean. Yeah, yeah. Uh, imagine he dies from that. <laughs> imagine that pro pro provokes the bite. <laughs> I feel like he's gonna explode when he dies, too. Low key. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh. Make a save for it. No worries. If he leaves my range, I will attack him too. <laughs> uh. Wait, why do I have plus? Oh, bliss. <laughs> nah, you want the four. Imagine that's what saves it. Is that plus? <laughs> you want the four and the plus so you don't. So you don't attack? You hear a son in the back of your head like, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Don't do it, do it, don't do it. Do it, do it, do it, don't do it. You hear two uh, voices, one saying do it, one uh, saying don't do it. You're not sure which was which. Yeah. That should be a miss, I think. Well, I think it's a miss. It is a miss. That will hit. Yeah. Alright, so his AC is 18. I assume. Yeah, well, at least we confirmed that. <laughs> Alright. Um, uh, Radiant as well. Maybe you hit All right. him. Yeah. Well, you are still holding- well, no, wait, you're not still holding your breath. I guess you could add a saving breath. And, uh, so give me the radiant damage as well. Mom, big number. Wait, six, no, six, not six, big six. number. Ooh. Four. Alright, double to four. four. And with this, uh, pretty much spores around him burst. And... First up, a wisdom save from Kanko. Ah, uh, two saves. Oh. Uh, they'll pass, and 
as you failed the previous one, you are not quite holding your breath, so it is going to also be the constitution save. Contrary, yeah. Oh, that's what we okay. want to see. That's what we want to see. Okay. Good saves, good saves. All right, I'll step there. Let's see, how has this turn been so far? He did was move. Uh, and he still give me more. Yeah, and he made it. Oh, yeah, he... Which yeah, means that. Uh, yeah, so he's going to uh, do a little silly. No, he can't do that. Yeah. So he does that and starts walking in this direction. Seki. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, uh. I have Misty Step. I can't get line of sight on him, can I? Um, I have a spell for this. You might be able to. Let's I say. have Long Strider Smile. Mm. No. Oh, would that... The problem is I can't <laughs> I can't get it without using my action. It might be possible. I'm 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 sort of just looking for a way. Because technically from this square you would be able to have line of sight. Because the ruler does not pass okay. through any walls. And it is exactly 50 feet away. The problem is, that's 60 feet away. Can these windows open? And I have... They do not open. Darn. 35 I've got a thaumaturge yet. How smashable do they look? <laughs> Quite. You can smash it. Sons <laughs> can put the pieces back together after. <laughs> 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 Alright, how does how much would I be able to get out of run? Uh, run is uh, 1d4 times 5. So up to 20 if you max all 20. Min of uh, 5, max I can't game. make it. I can get that's a max his, of 55. That's his third Misty step, I'm pretty sure, by the way. I, was, I think that's his fourth. Mm. Is it his fourth? think so. If it's his fourth, I have no idea where he got that spell slot from. Should so be his first third. from here to here. I well, used three spell, uh, three third levels, and it wasn't a misty step. He used counter spell, fireball, and another counter spell, right? No, another no, fireball. Another fireball, and then he used couple, like, two or three Misty Stubs. Mm. I have a list as he used three Misty Stubs. Okay, maybe I miscounted. Possibly. Okay. okay. Uh, if it's three, then that's fine. Oh! I think I know. I have one way to get to him. Yeah, I also have one way. I can throw okay. shoveling at him. <laughs> Alright. Action. Alright, hold on. Oops. Alright, so. Let's start with this. Oh, oh okay. Hmm? 15 feet. So that means. 35, 45, 50. I get here. Okay, uh, action, run more. Now, 
it I get do I get another 35 or another 50? Um you says movement is increased and that's just based on your movement, so I would assume you get the full oh. it would be doubled, yeah. You would get the 50 okay. again. Uh, this is not passable, right? That's not passable, no. What about this part? That part would be yes. Okay, so here. Okay. Speedy. Hmm. That's okay, nice. here we go. That is the second level spell slot. Come on. Mm -hmm. Okay. That attack will miss. Uh, that will still miss. Okay. All right. I tried. The voice I can also get to him. With my echo. Right. I can get to him with the windows not there. <laughs> so she has 40 movement speed this turn. Mm -hmm. Wait, we have 40. Do you have 25 movement? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, less small. Oh, so she has normal movement speed, plus, then she had plus 5, but then she had minus 10 because Curse of Lame. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh... See, is there anything else she can really do? Probably not. Um, no, that's Sun's turn. Alright. Can't go. I try to die through the windows. Which... Yes, you can. Yep. Make a uh, dexterity save to see how well you can avoid getting yourself cut up as you do so. <laughs> I'm good at those, somewhat. Somewhat. You take 10 slashing damage. That's fine. And she is going to use her last dash. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very nimble old man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you would be. Oh, oh yeah, 24. I'll hit. D6. Yeah. Oh. Sheesh. Oh. So that's gonna be. Sheesh. He's done, though. 26, I think. 19, yeah. Huh. Yeah, some resistance. Is he one? <laughs> <laughs> You're close. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's down. <laughs> Unless he has like endure or some bullshit. Yeah. Uh... What he doing? Uh. He is. 
Pretty much his thought process. Is that what you're asking his thought process right now? Yeah. What he's gonna do. His thought process is he needs more blight. Uh, oh no, where's his carriage? He could get more blight in hell, dog. Where's his carriage? Don't let him get to the carriage. Man, How we're just gonna fucking is... kill him. How many times has he used shield? Twice. I wanna say three. Oh, does his spores go off? Uh, no. Did not pass an HP of... threshold. He's out of spores. I hope. Uh, they're, they're there, are, are you, sure, there might be a final one when he dies. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, <clears throat> either way, that's everything from me, so. Right. And. Lorana? <clears throat> Take him out. Uh, I can see. <laughs> here. Uh, hold on. Correct. Hold on. Mm -hmm. You can. Is Kanika holding their breath? Uh. She probably won't remember to do that. God damn it. That's five. It's five. Yeah. You're just uh, also just running, so like it would make yeah, sense to not be holding your breath. That makes sense. Well, yeah. well, Indeed. By the way, I can see here. Yes, for, through the window. Yes, you can. Alright. Do we see the carrots, by the way? Uh, you do not. We only heard it, I'm assuming. We can deal with that after mm. we kill this guy. No, 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 I, was just no, no, no. Heading... I was just wondering if he was heading towards his carrots. No worries. Looks like he's heading towards the forest, but I don't know. So the question is Misty Step or fucking Firebolt? Because I know he probably has one spell slot left for shield. I think uh... Firebolt just to be safe. Yeah. Because, I'd... yeah, if you magic, if you like magic missile. It's a guaranteed he dodges it, but Firebolt, he might still. I miss. Oh. I'll not hit. Sid. Still at 30 feet of movement. F, okay, one of us will get him. Mm. I'm moving up. <laughs> <laughs> you fall off the world. <laughs> <laughs> now you're getting there. I'm trying, I'm trying to make a less appealing for him. Mm -hmm. Fucking pincer maneuver. Alright, Ladeka. The Ladika leaps through the window. She does not care about her own safety. Mm. As the window has well, already been broken, but I will need a deck save from you. Do so, but the DC is heavily reduced. Oh, radical. <laughs> You're welcome. Doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, so. <laughs> 12 slash. It's low. 12 slash. Don't damage. care. <laughs> I'd be really if I if I trolled and shielded. Blast him. <laughs> yeah, you, as you're climbing, I mean, as you're climbing it, through, it, you sort of trip, land on some of the glass. <laughs> nah, not even climbing through. Ladika literally just throws herself through the window. She is trying <laughs> to kill this thing. Mm -hmm. She's gonna feel that in the morning. Um, I will try to firebolt it. Mm -hmm. Damn, oh, we rolled the same thing. Damn. Alrighty, that's it. Oh, actually, that's a lie. I have a plus eight. I have rolled boils. The boys, I'm sure you. I won't miss twice for sure, right? <laughs> right. Surely. For sure. Surely. For sure. Surely. All right, anything else? Well, you, nope. you're the last chance of damaging him. Zavar. Sure. Oh, also, yeah. we, can still, we can still chase him. He also, yeah, yeah, um, still him. chase him, but... He can't get away. Before his turn, his face. Yeah, he's not, he's not getting away. You also ran last turn, so you get an extra d5. Or an extra 5. Oh, we get an extra 5? Okay. Alright. Because well, I'm um, planning. So 20 feet. I mean, yeah. Um, actually, it's an extra you rolled d4. Tw you rolled it twice, so. Yeah. yeah. Oh, can roll it again? You just go super goddamn fast to, at, after running you for You get an extra 1d4 times 5, so just another d4. <laughs> Honestly, just keep running so he can't outrun you. <laughs> uh, it's not actually, I, actually, you be able to keep up with him. I got, I'm at zero stamina. What, what, can, what should I roll for my extra? Just roll one d four. Uh, yeah, roll d four and then multiply by five. So uh, extra, uh, you have extra twenty five. Twenty five. 
Oh, you're out of stamina. Huh? Learn that for me. Hey. Uh, oh, and. Yeah, you're out of. Oh. Bonus section. <laughs> okay, um. Oh, yeah, well, you can just sentinel him now. Oh, God. Yeah, booming blade attack with. Should it go? I should probably. Oh, okay. I probably shouldn't use stamina because I would be negative. Then. You know. Using stamina, yeah. uh, I need to double check if hitting zero is a thing or if it is using going negative. I think it's I would, a problem if you overexert. Yeah. I would also hold your um, maneuver for precision. Yeah, use yeah. precision. Like, yeah. just kill this guy. He's one no hit. No maneuvers anymore. Or everything's gone. I've got one uh, unleash inclination for a free attack, so I can have two attacks. So and he has pretty much advantage for that. If you don't if you don't kill him, then he'll try to move away. And then Sentinel. Yeah. Well if he might misty step. One less misty step. Or was that his last one? I think it might have been his last one. That should hit. Okay, 22. Yeah, yeah 22. Unless he upcasts shield. He he has a first level slot left. Ah, uh, yeah. He doesn't need to upcast. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So what is the what is the one d six from? Every uh, the year. glorious thingy, glorious weapon. Yeah. Uh, less attack from him this turn. Just crit him. Yeah, just crit him. Nice. Twenty six. I'll hit. D six. Yeah. He he dies. Oh, I got that one. <laughs> He's toast. Twelve. Well. I hope. Let's hope so. Oh, thank God. <laughs> now, now see what, what happens when he dies. Hold. It's Hold. a question. The last attack. As God. he dies, I need a constitution save and a wisdom save. And if you fail the wisdom... I mean, I was holding you... my breath, I, I, but I can roll it if you want to. Oh, you said you... Well, to be fair, you did just take two run actions to get over yes. here. Let, let's make a save. <laughs> I, I've been very generous with the holding the breath. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going that far. Oh, I'm good. Right. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. With I'm some rolling save. crazy on my con right. saves. Now con save. You're not yeah. compelled to breathe it in. And you do not nice. breathe it in. Oh, However... Gosh. As he dies, his body falls to the ground, and the blight that was once a part of his body rises from the ground. Oh god. Radiant! <laughs> this is oh god. Ah, the mound! Oh my god. I wasn't expecting a phase two! This is, this is phase three! <laughs> <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it is. Uh, I'll make a... Alrighty. I, I, I guess I can make a check on that, on the technique check on that thing. <laughs> yeah. I guess. Mm -hmm. Or not. That is insufficient. Yep, that's my turn. Alright. The mound receives wow. initiative. Oh. Okay. Mm hmm. All right. Oh boy. The man will uh, move here. Thing on Conigo? And use a ability called Engulf. Uh, oh, no. Um. Thunder damage. <laughs> it's eating. Do not eat me. <laughs> oh, yeah. So. It pretty much like moves off of Lucius's body 
and begins to move around yours as it begins to engulf you. Uh, there is... Oh, this just happens. Smile. Oh, oh okay. Uh, it does take the damage. And that will... Right? Uh -oh. yeah. So it moves to engulf you and then uses slam against Zavar. Oh, that's me, yes. That additional damage against... Yeah, it, you do not have light I armor, so it's not... That's not for you. It's fine. That's interesting. Oh. Yeah, I'll take that's that. That's an interesting take. modifier. Yeah. yeah not great for me, but... <laughs> well, it's fun. I'm, I'm being eaten anyway, so... And... Uh, in addition to that, get one stack of blight. Who does? Xanavar? Xanavar does. Okay. Uh, yeah, no. Is, You're fine for now. This is looking like the part where we just fucking spam yeah. magic missile. I think this is <laughs> the part where we spam magic missile. Just... Seki. What the fuck is that? Tell me. This is the mound. It has the following abilities. Engulf. Slam. And those are its two abilities. It has the traits okay. Blight, Coal, and Lingering. Blight and Lingering, lingering are the same as or when it was part of Lucius, and Cole means that against low AC targets or light armored individuals, it has bonuses. Okay. I feel like we know which one we should get. Uh, Engulf, yeah. yeah. Engulf. Hey, click the button. Targets the mound walker becomes engulfed and swallowed by the mound. The target is blinded and restrained. They must succeed on a con saving throw at the start of the mound's turn or take the damage below and gain 1d4 blight. Okay. Well, one can uh, be engulfed right. at a time. Rad. Well, uh, I'm gonna smack it with the spiritual weapon. Alright. I'll hit. Uh, and then... Okay. Uh, can I tell that? Or can I tell if I use an AOE spell on it? Will it? Um. What's it called? Hit Iconico. Yeah. I. Uh, maybe my. Like, knows? can I shake? Can I aim it in a way that it doesn't? Iconico does only. Exists on one of the tiles, so you could. Okay. You'd probably aim it. Do I just blast it with, with my last second level spell thought? We go all in. Up, yeah, just go all in. Up go all in. The burning just, hands. Just freaking kill it. Fuck it. Get off me! All right. <laughs> That's second level, uh, so. So it's gonna be like. How do? I, where's the template to? Yeah, I see how you're aiming it. Yeah. You don't need to draw a template. But you do need to roll your D20. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Come on. Give me an 18. Oh, that's an 18. Right, it's fine. It's, it's, it's still 18 damage. All right. I hope. Yeah. Oh. Almost. Oh, that's. Wait, what? Oh, some fire. Good. Ooh. Oh, wait, it needs to it make didn't... a deck save first. Yeah. Might be. Yeah. Oh. Let me make the deck save real quick. Uh, I'm sure it fails. Not. It fails. Oh. Nah, nice. 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 It's vulnerable to fire. Yes. Wicked. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Holy shit. Look at its health bar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. I think I'm right, going to fucking I... die before it gets my turn. <laughs> How do I clear these fucking... Uh, oh. Just control Z when you... Yeah, there yeah, we go. Right, right. Anything else? That's my turn. Cool. Uh, da, 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 da. Well, you're all the way in there. <laughs> and <Yeah. laughs> then... So that's... 25 plus... 25 plus um, 35, so that's 60, right? Yeah. 
Almost. <laughs> um, can Sun see that? I. Let me grab the book tool. Hmm. I would say no. Okay, that's fine. Damn, and some that... can't just like peek their head out the window. <laughs> that is perfectly fine. Um, let me double check what accident economy this ability was. Okay, that was as an accent, darn it. Um. Oh, okay. Wait, hang on. My bad, I misremembered the mound. It's not vulnerable to fire, it's resistant to fire. Oh my god. I got that backwards. <laughs> the agony. The That's agony. on me. I no, am you, sorry. You still, have, you still have elemental adept, so it doesn't. Yeah, so yeah, it so will it only be 18. 18, yes. Damn. Yeah. Okay, it doesn't hurt uh, quite as much. Okay. That, that changes still... what I'm going to do on my turn. It's yeah. still blast it. Uh -huh. I'm trying my best to select it. it just there we go. Uh, so <laughs> crushing my hopes of fire vulnerable enemies. Maybe. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah. I don't. guess I accent us. And then... Um, hmm. Guess I'll save my spell slots for um, the cleanup. Mm -hmm. Oh, Radiant, yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I was just going to order Radiance for that, but um, for healing people up and trying to do that. Um, actually, um, I want to be a bit closer. Um, it's not 30 feet away. Okay, that, yeah, I want to be there. That's Sun's turn. That's the fastest Sun has ever moved. <laughs> it's just 60 foot movement speed in a turn for <laughs> a character that has 25 normally. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's some turn. All right, Ganko. Uh, you are restrained and blinded. And blinded, yes. Well, you already had disadvantage, so what's the next set of disadvantage? Okay, breaking out is still, I think, a possibility, though. So. Hmm. No, I forgot to marshal. Darn. Oh right. This thing's dead anyway. <laughs> well, maybe. Doesn't it's, seem to have that the, much health. It's very likely dead, but it, we just want to make sure we don't lose anybody. <laughs> True. To linger wing, mm. you know. And Kanako is the most likely one to die. She does have a lot of blight stacks. Yeah, a little bit. A little. <laughs> I almost wonder if you kind of just sit pretty and... Well, will it give you blight if you attack it? I guess not. That's not the same ability. So maybe just beat it up from the inside. Can you do that? Or are you restrained? It would be disadvantage on the attacks. There's still yeah. a chance. Or chance, yeah. It doesn't say anything on its abilities about it lighting. Oh wait, no, it did light on the it, it blights uh, when it's on its uh, on its when turn. It's, it it's blights. turn, and I'm still. Oh god. No, if I'm still in goal. <clears throat> Uh, oh, that's not bad. Yeah. 17. <laughs> not bad. Does 17 hurt? A 17? 17 does hit? Yeah. A D6 Wait. too? D6. Mm hmm. Okay. Plus three, unless it's vulnerable. 
probably is. So that'll be thirteen. It is vulnerable. Others and others. Not bad. Yeah. Only Shaxer. Oh. That'll hit. Sheesh. Good roll. That's that's good. Yeah. A good roll on this probably kills. Yeah, I got the six, but just ended. See it. Come on, big dumb. Oh, nope. <laughs> enough. It's oh. close, close. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just worried about what happens here. I mean, we got a bunch of people before he goes. So. I guess she, well, he co she could yeah. overexert. Well, we're about to see. Don't we don't need to overexert. Don't, don't worry. Either, don't worry. Yeah. I mean, I'm going either to point me, out the three people who go before. <laughs> yeah, either oh, I'm, I'm, or me. I have, I'm itching to just. I'm itching to murder this thing, please. Yeah, <laughs> kill it. <laughs> so I so walks up. She clicks magic missile. Mm -mm. We win. <laughs> it shields. No. Wow. Shields. <laughs> yeah, you see, I inherited a shield from uh, the good guy. So uh, four, nine, four, four, five, death. four. Well, no, eight. Four, five, five, four. Thirteen. That'd be force that. resistance. Nope. We win. <laughs> GG. And with awesome. that, the blight of life falls to the ground. Oh, I just realized. Um, I never dropped concentration on the fire so it's Me yeah meanwhile over here is just a fire just burn oh, no, it's, it's over it's there yeah. by the pews <laughs> just by, the, by the flammable pews yeah, it'll be fine smile <laughs> we're out here fighting meanwhile the, the shrine is burning to the ground you could drop it while you're thinking about it oh I, I don't like that <laughs> 12 what would it mean it's not a one yeah it's yep. not a one true <laughs> Is a good world could ride. be worse. Yeah, it could, be worse. could be better. But with that, I click pause on the music. The enemy defeated the blighted. And I said I press pause on the music. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking music wants to keep playing. Grr. As the blight body falls to the ground, Lucius' body lies to its side. You have defeated Lucius. And the blighted mound that came off. Awesome. Wait, wait, wait. You are <laughs> not in initiative anymore. Um, Stan is going to immediately start tending to um probably Ooh. drag him out or hey, drag them out. <laughs> I can't move. Uh, just yeah, let me just, just, um. So see so does. Yeah, run, 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 run is going to approach before anything happens. Uh. <laughs> Uh, has have we determined whether or not lesser restoration would help with blight? Uh, yeah. Got the notes I have for this. If not, I can just roll. Well, sound is going to start using some small bits of radiant. I would use the help. I would use the help action uh, for a medicine check. Yeah, I will. I will. I will say that lesser restoration. Probably would not help, as the blight is current is a physical thing inside the body that needs to be removed. Okay. So you need to make a medicine check to pretty much cut open and remove the vines on the inside, and it will hurt to do so. Uh, Elrana will uh. just take out her dagger and then offer it to whoever <laughs> wants to do the honors. The sun wants to send us, wants to I, heal. I approve. Then, Who is proficient in medicine? Who is yeah, she's medicine? gonna return to normal. Ladika will not watch the surgery and she's gonna go over to Lucius and make sure he's dead. As you go over to Lucius, the body does not move. There's... Pretty much the runes around the head sort of start to fade as the head sort of begins to get consumed by blight as well. We probably should loot him Burn before it. he. Loot him first for the for the information. Oh, yeah. Wait. 
uh, for books. Let's let's just make sure. Let's let's not destroy we the body have, yet. Let's make we sure won't we won't have his him. information on him. Well, uh, diary. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't really care if he has information on him. What if he has money? Fair. Um, uh, Rana will mage hand and like like <laughs> go through all the pockets from like meanwhile, a slight distance. Zeki turns to this thing. I'm and, just uh, glad he's dead. I'm a burn it. <laughs> right. Because oh god. Start to burn it. Just bought rending tools. Yeah, it's... <laughs> <laughs> it won't. He won't have rend it's, it's made out of blight. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, no. Makes a perfect sword. <laughs> um, no. Seki, earlier, Lucius mentioned something about Noko making a deal or discussing something with him. <laughs> what was that about? I'm pretty sure that was Seki mentioned that. Well, regardless, what happened? Oh, so sounds going to do. I'm just. I was just trying to clarify something he... before I made the roll. Oh, sounds going to. Um, us. Sounds going to, to um... talk a, a bit after the second shrine, and I foolishly suggested to my sister that she humor his request. If only to get a bit more information on what exactly he was doing. And, well, she made a few foolish choices. And, well, one of them you can already see. He, again, looks pointedly at the runes all over her arm, or his arm. I will say, there is something we should probably take care of regarding that, though. Well, what was he planning? I'm afraid we didn't get quite that far in terms of our discussions, but he did present some notes with regards to what he has carved on his skin. Uh, he thought it was a way to restrain the blight, to control it. Apparently, uh, his theory was that if If, if the Blight wants the body intact, so if the body is being constantly damaged, the Blight will focus on healing the body first rather than taking control. And, well, as you can see, it uh, doesn't seem to have worked so well for him, or perhaps it did work better for him. The problem is, he's not alone. And I don't know if he was the leader of this group, but I know where they're. I know where they're hiding. Oh well, that helps. Uh, that's and great to know, but focus. that's great to know. But why didn't you let the Inquisitor know about this? It was... I'm not... We are not exactly... We've already run out of one home. I... I don't want to get run out of another. You would have put yourself more at risk by keeping this information. I mean, I we've dealt with the problem now, but... Ladika pinches the bridge of her nose. 
you need to go once we once we report back to the Inquisitors, you have to tell them the entire story. Just because we've cut off the head of the snake doesn't mean that the rest of them aren't out there. Uh, they just yes, go well, away. I have... There might be a better idea. She because raises if an they, eyebrow. If they learn he's dead, they might move before anyone has a chance to to keep them contained. Okay, how... First of all, how do you expect them to know that he's dead? Do you think they have spies in the Inquisition or something? Possibly. They weren't... Second of all, how fucking big is this group, if that is the case? How many... Above board, how many did I see when I was there? Uh, while you were there, you saw probably, maybe... Including the two people at the door, probably seven people. Boy, what library. the hell, boy? What have you been doing? <laughs> Spent 20 days of research. Where do you, where do you think I went? <sighs> well, and so none of the ones that I saw there sound like it didn't sound like any of the ones that were at that were described in in Shuttance, right? I mean, the the armored guy, we have no idea, because he's fucking tanky. But, like, it doesn't seem like there was overlap, right? Uh, you... None of the people that you heard described by the... Uh, what's your call it? The, the uh, in in Inquisitors and the yeah, guards. Yeah, the Inquisitors and guards. None of them match any of the descriptions of the people you saw. Judging from what I've seen and what or what we've seen and what the Inquisitors described and the guards, at least a dozen. And they have a library if they if they have a chance to, they'll likely destroy any knowledge there that could indicate any plans they have. So, oh. Here. Uh, and then Seki will pull out the map Noko's been working on that mm -hmm. they've been carrying this whole time. That, uh... And... Yes, it is a new version. Ooh. With a very specific marking there. Uh, how do I turn it into an object? I got rather than a token. Just gonna make a big thing. Okay. Yeah, but yeah. Look at that! Owie. Wow, we were so close. So, what is your plan? We go and deal with 12 of these people ourselves? There's likely not 12 of them. Remember, the, the priest is likely still back near Arcadia, and... The others... They could be back further up. We don't know how many there are, but... At the very least... We should try to go there and see if we can at least possibly capture one of them. If not, at the very least, try to secure the library. If we're doing this, we're going to kill all but one. If these people can control the Blight, I believe we can only withstand one being left alive. Mm -hmm. If for the information... The others are probably too dangerous. Hopefully the uh, priest has been captured already, but... In theory. I think we should move on this place before too long. Otherwise they'll have a chance to... 
chance to spread. Wasn't didn't the Inquisition have someone they were going to that was scouting here? Did they they were talking about this shrine, right? Sending uh, a scout ahead. Yeah, they sent pretty much word ahead to clear out the shrine so there would be no civilians. Okay. So the so the those people would not still be here, right? They would not. Like they would not be nearby. Okay. Right. If we can try to send a message to someone in the Inquisition or someone, we could try to have them meet us there, but I think we should move now. We, we have no way well, of sending. Well, look, let's priorities first. We haven't dealt with him. We need to loot him, and he had a carriage coming by. I heard it. Lizzie saw it. Yeah. So as sun, sun, as you use rain damage, destroy the mound. The blighted vines all turn to ash, and all that remains is a small hole in the ground, where perhaps it was trying to escape to. Oh, uh, Rana is keeping a distance from Lucian's body and just using mage hand to like. Mm. Poke through stuff as best. Yeah. Kind of a he said, there, he said there's a hole that I was trying to escape to. Yeah, it seems relatively empty now. See, see, I'll still blast another few of words of radiance anywhere he thinks it might have tried to escape to. Okay. Uh, Ladika keeps on keeps on the lookout for a carriage because yeah, that might it? mean reinforcements. Him? Like, no, kind he, of he arrived in the carriage, here. right? Uh, as you examine his body, his body has fully been consumed by the blight. Very nearly none remains of any flesh or mortal form. It's completely been consumed. As for the carriage, you find it hidden among the trees. A small little carriage. Well, also, he has nothing. Is there he has anything nothing. in his pockets or anything, by the way? <laughs> uh, as you look in his flesh pockets, pockets, you... <laughs> You can look through them. Do you want to look through the blighted corpse of Lucius? I mean, again, Ron yeah, mage, hand. mage hand. <laughs> kind of. Just like a tap of the pocket and see if it's, it's like, just, you know. It's kind of a grab You know when you go to check your keys? You tap your pocket like that? Kind of like that. Cinnaba so, would help with a stick or a branch from the woods to sift through the remains. I'm looking through the carriage. I'll use Mage Hand if need be. Careful of trips. Uh, stands 15 feet back just to be safe because, you know, 10 feet of reach. Mm. He's worried about it having him having another Blight Arrow and it going off. Alright. So, let's see. Just... Alright, uh, so at the carriage you find... Pretty much a bunch of different books. One oh boy. Uh, no more you, signs of blight, or is yeah, it, is it more of Lucius's little diaries? Yeah, most of what you find is pretty much. You find pretty much research notes, sort of generic stuff. Uh, there is one that catches uh, Ladeka's eye. Uh, the book is titled. The Bonds of Blight, and it's written by Lucius. What is this, fan fiction? As you open up, <laughs> it is a smut book <laughs> oh by Lucius God. about the blight. No. Ladika's reading this, and like she is utterly disgusted. <laughs> <laughs> what is... Good gods. This prose is terrible. What is that about? I don't... This should not see the light of day. I mean, it depends if there's hidden messages. Like a code. Uh, what kind of experiments has he written in that one? I... They're quite intimate. I would say. Ladika, like, skims through it to see if there's anything actually useful here, or if he is actually... This is just a smut book about the blight. It, oh, 
It is just a smut book. <laughs> as far as you can tell, it's just a smut book about the blight. It, it goes very detailed. Burn it. Burn it. Ladika puts it on the ground and tosses a firebolt at it. Okay. Hundred bonfire. Huh? Absolutely Hold abhorrent. On. Hey, we're, we're in the middle of a fucking forest. <laughs> Why are we burning books? And with that, his carriage is the, examined. A, the body is gone. There's a special exception for this one. It's a small fire. It can be easily put out. I can just... <laughs> I, I can keep it contained. Anyway, uh... Did he have any money? Anything? Any There's money no nothing in the carriage. Just boring nothing books? Uh, on the carriage you find a... You also find a bag of gold containing... Okay. Oh, wait, I missed this. Oh, it was going under the seat. <laughs> it wasn't entirely pointless. Yeah, it was in another seat, obviously. <laughs> it has six gold in it. <laughs> she looks. <laughs> He's fucking broke. <laughs> Have I made any money from this series of missions? Not yet. I think I lost I think I lost money. money. So <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, got, yeah. you get I, you got ten gold <laughs> from the also also quick silver cell cell. Nah, thing. I bro. When we get back to the inquisit into the inquisition, <laughs> I'm haggling for extra money. Does right. anybody have a magic? Well, what was it? What is it? A spell called that detects magic? Detect magic. <laughs> I don't detect magic. I can do it if we need. Would we all like yeah, to we split should. six gold? Let's uh, put it in a pot for now. Yeah. You split the fuck six gold, six way. Yeah, the everyone gets one gold. <laughs> Reward is going one dollar. <laughs> Made sure I'll write it down like that. Uh, yes, this is write there, it down. from just like mage hand tapping the pockets on Lucian. Is there anything in there or no? I, there's no, gotta be something, there's nothing there's on this body. Worth our oh my there's fucking nothing worth our god. Body. Oh my god. Whatever might have been there well, might have been consumed by the blight. I'm losing my mind. Because right. nobody. Uh, there will be more just the XP. It's my own. He's, apparently. He's empty. So. And I mean, his body is covered in fucking blight. I don't know if you even can save this body. But I mean, you're welcome to try. Uh, I'm not comfortable transporting this body. It's not worth the time. The inconsistent yeah. will just have to believe us, and if they don't, they don't. It's too far gone. We know we've done a blighted one at that. Look, we know we've done good for the, this country. Maybe you we should can burn like, it. I don't know. Cut off the head or something. It's kind of gross. It's mostly mm -hmm. blighted. I don't think there's anything left that we could salvage. A skull, maybe. I mean, ear. Uh, Ladika, like, looks it over. Is. is there anything that looks like it is not blighted yet? Uh, no. It's fully blight. And as you're examining the body, you and see... Continuing to spread. You see... This tree begins to sort of darken. The tree begins yeah, to blight as... A wave of darkened, blighted trees all begin to consume this forest. What, immediately? What? We, we left the body sitting there. It's d digging under the and, ground. Okay, I, so I, I, we, didn't I, see, we didn't see any of the blight shifting from onto you, the grass? You can sort of see that from the trees, it appears to have come up from the roots. Yeah, we had a hint. From the mound, where it had a hole underneath it. I mean, we were working on, you know, removing the blight, but what were you guys doing? As the, f the pretty much where the hole was, a flower of blight begins to grow. Burn in this it. area. And, there's, and there's, no there's nothing we can do as it consumes the entire forest in five, six seconds. And this... As the blighted flower grows, you get the sense that this is outside of your power level by a good margin. So you're saying that in the time that we were messing with the blight, 
he went his corpse went super blight. It was mode not and his turned corpse. The entire... Something oh. else. This is something oh, it... that if oh. any of you are from Arlogus, you might have known about this, but the information of this is not fully well known. Uh I mean Kanako is in Arlogus, but that's all really she's not from there. Yeah, I oh. I I wasn't positive. I think you are the only one with Wanderer. Everyone else is from Elderia. Uh I am Yeah, I got Wanderer. Yeah. The rest of your sheets I believe have Elderia on them. Remembering I, I'm me Wanderer. For this. Yes. So also the, in, yeah. The entire forest Although, just is I would have Yokugan if it was up. Yeah. And this is where we're going to uh, call the session as this area has begun to succumb to the blight. And I need to uh, talk with someone about this. Oh boy. Because <laughs> this is fun. I need more details. I don't have all the details I need for this. But I hope you guys I'm enjoyed. I'm just wondering, did we oops? Or did yeah. we good? Well, I don't it know sound, if we it did sounds oops, like that would be fucking stupid. It sounds like it wasn't our fault. I was yeah. I was actually about to be a little annoyed at that if it was our fault. Yeah, it, it is I, not. I'm, I'm blaming entirely your fault. Oh, it's the one the hand which he rolled. It's the one the hand which he rolled. I think it was that. Maybe. Oh, that might have been it. Yeah. I mean, that's not that's, that's not technically our fault. As long as it's not. Oh, you didn't burn the body fast enough. The entire forest is now blight. L. Yeah. L nerd. Mm. Oh. So I'm assuming. I'm assuming oh. even the deck magic won't help us finding anything interesting about this body or carriage. I think so, I think the forest think... turning to blight is our key is our cue to leave and not yeah, detect magic. I would say just burn yeah. his body and get out. Yeah, it's burn time his to body. Go. Burn the fucking forest. Ladika actually does toss a few firebolts that way to attempt to start a fire. I throw <laughs> conjure bonfire <laughs> on the fucking forest and control right. flames because. Uh, I, I need to call the session here, though, so... Yeah, that's fine. Sa save. Th th this will be saved for next session. Oh. Uh, well, uh, or, I'm assuming... I just want uh, my loot. I want my loot. Yeah, <laughs> think, uh, yeah, depending on the information I get, next session might be simply an epilogue session where you guys pretty much report back to Inquisition, possibly yep. go, uh, go to the library that... Uh, Seki was pointing out, and sort of tie up the last of the loose ends. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Above board, I want that library. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to, I just want to get rid of these terrorists in my country. Oh, yeah. And I want money. Yeah. Forget Kana like, just wants can, to be can, a hero. Yeah, we can we can kill the terrorists. I want to take their library. I, I don't. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's session. It's quite the adventure we got going on here and until next time take care of yourself take care of others and goodbye